Chapter 521 Departed Ghost Devour Art Translator Born to be sinister runes covered Han Shian Iu's face, and the whites of his eyes disappeared, causing him to look like a malevolent spirit. At the same time, a huge illusory image appeared behind him. That illusory figure was 30 meters tall, and it possessed an immense pair of wings. It was impossible to see it clearly, but when it appeared, an incredibly evil aura filled the air, causing everyone's hearts to turn cold. Netherworld Ghost Devour Art Shu Wuhan's expression changed, and she looked towards the Yun family's experts. You really are brazen. How could you teach Han Shian Iyu a forbidden technique? Are you trying to be targeted by the entire righteous path? The corrupt path's cultivation techniques and battle skills were all forbidden techniques to the righteous path. Any disciple who obtained those techniques would have to hand it over to higher authorities, or they would be killed. If a sect selfishly hid this fact or secretly taught these kinds of forbidden techniques, they would be treated as traitors of the entire righteous path and attacked from all sides. Thus, no one dared do such a thing. But now Han Shian Iyu had used a technique that released such an evil aura. It was clearly a secret technique from the corrupt path. That was why Shu Wuhan was so furious. You're wrong. No matter how brazen my Yun family is, we wouldn't dare cultivate forbidden techniques. The secret technique you see right now isn't the netherworld ghost devour art, but the departed ghost devour art. I trust that with experience, you should have heard of it. Although it was a secret technique created by the corrupt path, cultivating it does not require killing or harming others, and so it is fair game. Even righteous disciples can train in it. If a disciple trains in it and thus causes displeasure with the righteous path, then their sect will have to bear the consequences. However, in my opinion, Han Shian Iyu's conduct won't bring about any bad consequences. Yun King smiled slightly, clearly having already predicted all of this. You really were vicious. Shu Wuhan took a deep breath. He, what is viciousness in this world? This is just cultivation. Those who offend my Yun family can't have any good ending. Or how would my Yun family maintain the prestige of an ancient family laughed Yun King. Shu Wuhan didn't reply. Turning to look at Long Chen, the only thing that comforted her slightly was that Long Chen's expression had been completely calm this entire time, but she was still worried, because according to her understanding of Long Chen's temperament, even if he was facing death, he still would maintain the same calm expression, he definitely won't show any expression of fear or panic, however, she knew he was smart, and so she had no idea what assurance he had against Han Shian Iyu who had used the departed ghost devour art. Everyone was looking at Han Shian Iyu with shock. That huge black figure behind him released an aura like the vengeful spirits from the depths of hell. Long Chen, I really want to know what emotion you're feeling now. Terror? Unwillingness? Or is it something else? Even Han Shian Iyu's voice had changed after using this technique. It sounded like iron scraping together, and it was not a sound that should come from a human. It was more like the cry of a bloodthirsty devil. Long Chen smiled slightly and rested his saber on his shoulder. He finally understood why Han Shian Iyu dared to challenge him. This should be his strongest trump card. He had no choice but to admit that Han Shian Iyu truly was powerful. However, there was still one thing he didn't understand. I really want to know, now that you've used your secret technique, even if you can kill me, how long will you be able to live after? One hour. Han Shian Iyu icily glared at Long Chen with his devil-like eyes. His words caused a wave of shock to ripple through the crowd. This terrifying secret technique was actually so self-destructive. Once it was used, even the user would die? Then why bother? Long Chen shook his head. Why bother? Ha ha ha. Why bother? Han Shian Iyu suddenly laughed loudly, his voice filled with unwillingness and fury. His voice shook everyone's eardrums and they turned pale. Isn't this all because of you? If it weren't for you, I'd still be the number one disciple of the Zhuanshan Super Monastery. How free and happy would I have been? It was you who destroyed everything I had. If you had just obediently been killed by me, how could so many things have popped up later? You little bastard. You intentionally didn't kill that Yun Wushuang to scheme against me. That slut tormented me with all her might until she died. Now she's dead. But the bastards from the Yun family placed a soul larvae in my body. They're raising a fiendish ghoul within me. I only had two options. To allow the devouring ghoul within me to grow stronger every day until it consumed me or to use my spiritual strength to activate the ghoul's strength to gain ten times the power. Now I've come here. They promised me that as long as I can kill you, they'll suppress the ghoul's growth and won't let it continue growing. But, you bastard, why are you so strong? Why did you have to force me to this point? If I didn't kill you, I'd still die. 
But now, I'll definitely kill you first. Han Shian Ayu's voice grew to become a heaven-shaking roar, one filled with unwillingness and hatred. His sword slashed forward. When he moved, the figure behind him also moved, its actions the exact same as his. The illusory figure's sword slashed down on Long Chen, a true sword and a sword image superimposed. Heaven and earth trembled, and even those Xi'anchen experts' expressions changed. This level of power had already reached the pinnacle of the Haoshan realm, and it was practically comparable to Xi'anchen power. Boom. One sword slashed down. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, the entire stage had been cut cleanly in two. Did he manage to dodge? Quite a few people thought Long Chen was dead now. That power was too great. And below the Xi'anchen realm, no one could block it Noveloon.com it's still the same act. That familiar show-off sequence of yours. Han Shian Ayu. There really is no saving you. Long Chen raised blood drinker. Looking icily at Han Shian Ayu. You intentionally missed your attack. Are you trying to make me feel despair? You want to see my expression of despair before you die yourself. Of everyone present, only Xu Wuhan and the others on her level had been able to see that exchange clearly. In truth, Long Chen hadn't moved at all from his original location. He had simply allowed that sword to slash right by his body. That had given Xu Wuhan a fright. This little scoundrel really needs a beating. Xu Wuhan muttered hatefully inside. If she hadn't had such trust in Long Chen. She would have taken action just now to block it. Long Chen was definitely too brazen. If that sword had landed on him while he hadn't had any defenses at all, he would have been turned to two piles of pulp, let alone Long Chen. Even Xi'anchen experts, if they hadn't activated their Xi'anchen power, would also definitely have died. However, although Long Chen was young, his battle experience was greater than anyone else here. He had experienced more life and death fights than anyone else and it could be said that he had walked to his current point across a path of corpses. As soon as Han Shian Ayu had attacked, he had seen through his intentions. That sword hadn't been aimed at him, and he was only displaying it to intimidate him, to use his powerful martial might to subdue him and make him feel despair. That was the exact same thing he had done when displaying the crystal bone in the secret realm. That was why Long Chen had said there was no saving him. Using the same sequence over and over again, he really only had that little ability. Everyone looked from Han Shian Ayu, to the stage that had been cleanly cut in two, to the expressionless Long Chen. They felt as if they had gone crazy. Just what were they doing? The instant that attack had fallen, they had all felt as if their hearts might leap out of their chests. But from Long Chen's words, it seemed that absolutely appalling attack had just been used to show off. If the circumstances weren't inappropriate, many of them would have broken out into curses. How could he play around like this? HMPH. Even if I die, I'll still kill you. I just want to appreciate your expression when you're right in front of death. Ha ha ha. Han Shian Ayu pointed his sword at Long Chen and crazily laughed. Sorry, perhaps you won't get to achieve that wish. Apologized Long Chen. I really dislike that mouth of yours. Just go and die for me. Han Shian Ayu roared and his sword pointed up to the sky. A ray of sword key soared into the sky, and a mile long sword image slashed down on Long Chen. Space seemed to freeze in the face of this sword's immense power. This power had already reached a peak, and all sound had disappeared from the world. The monastery disciples were all horrified. This attack was ten times stronger than his last attack. That previous attack really had just been a display. This was his true attack. All disciples, retreat. Shu Wuhan suddenly shouted, and only then did the disciples recover from their shock and flee. Boom. They had only gone a few hundred meters when a powerful explosion rocked the land, and a boundless key wave soared out. That terrifying key wave caused countless disciples to crazily vomit blood, feeling as if they had been smashed by a sledgehammer, their bodies going limp. The key wave continued to spread, voraciously devouring everything in its path. Everyone was horrified. Just what level of strength was this? Just the shock wave was so terrifying. If you were struck by it, then you wouldn't even have a corpse left. Only the Xi'anchen experts were able to resist the impact of this key wave by circulating their Xi'anchen power. They managed to block some of the power from reaching the disciples. Although they had all at least reached the bone forging realm, this shock wave was too powerful, surpassing all of their imaginations. If it weren't for the Xi'anchen experts, then even if they weren't killed, they would definitely be struck half dead. When their vision finally recovered, they hastily looked towards the stage. The stage had already disappeared now. In front of Han Shian Ayu, Long Chen's saber was still in a blocking position. Behind him was a 300-meter divine ring, 
A powerful pressure soared into the sky. Long Chen's black robe and long hair danced in the wind, and his eyes shone like stars. I've already said I'm sorry, you'll never be able to achieve your wish. Now you should understand, right? Chapter 522 Killing Han Shian Iu Translator Born to be Long Chen lazily rested his saber on his shoulder. His gaze was like lightning, disdainfully looking down on all, and his voice resounded throughout the entire super monastery. The disciples looked at him with shock. It had been impossible for them to clearly see their previous exchange noveloon.com but they could all see that the martial stage had been destroyed, and that level of power terrified all of them. Long Chen was still completely fine in the face of that power. Only Xu Wuhan, Zhao Qingai, and a few Xi'anshan experts had been able to see the entire exchange. When Han Xi'an Iu's attack had been about to reach him, a divine ring had suddenly appeared behind Long Chen's back. As soon as that divine ring had appeared, it was as if a battle god had possessed his body, and with a swing of his saber, he broke apart Han Xi'an Iu's attack. It was precisely because they had seen it clearly that they were even more shocked. That slash of his saber had seemed like a random blow, and yet it had possessed an incredibly destructive power. Previously, rumors had spread that Long Chen had fought against the peak experts of the righteous and corrupt paths, but many people found it impossible to believe such a thing. Now that Long Chen had revealed his wild domineeringness, he shocked all of them. Even the Xi'anshan experts were shocked by Long Chen's domineeringness. It was as if Long Chen was a monster that had finally woken up, and his berserk will was incredibly imposing. Long Chen, Han Shian Iu clenched his teeth. Long Chen had once more become the undefeatable demon king he had been in the Jiuli secret realm. This image of Long Chen had already become his nightmare, one that was just waiting to kill him. Han Shian Iu roared and light erupted from his sword, attacking Long Chen. Long Chen snorted and he leaned forward, tightly holding his saber with both hands. A harsh and cold aura gradually rose from him, like a devil leopard accumulating strength. Suddenly, Long Chen roared thunderously, and his saber created a ray of blood red light, appearing like a heavenly saber that could slash apart the river of stars. Boom. Everyone was amazed to see that Han Shian Iu was sent flying by a single slash of Long Chen's saber. After sending him flying, he followed up on his saber, taking a single step to appear in front of Han Shian Iu. His saber released a sea of red light as it slashed down on him again. Han Shian Iu was completely horrified and he instantly recalled that Long Chen seemed to possess an extremely amazing saber technique that superimposed his strength. Each slash of his saber contained a portion of his previous slash's power, and it was extremely terrifying, but he had no time to react after that thought flitted through his head. Long Chen's saber was already about to reach him, and he hastily raised his sword. Boom! Han Shian Iu vomited blood, and he flew back. This time, he had taken extremely heavy injuries. Furthermore, Long Chen's third attack was coming for him, his saber cutting through the void, seemingly capable of cutting through anything. Han Shian Iu was completely appalled and resisted with his full strength. However, he was unable to block this saber. This saber seemed to be able to destroy the heavens, destroy the earth, destroy devils, and destroy gods. After a heaven-shaking explosion, a figure shot out like a meteorite, digging a long ditch in the ground. Han Shian Iu ended up smashing through several miles of ground before smashing heavily into a large platform. That platform was the Xi'anshan Super Monastery's ancestral statue. This statue might be extremely tall, but its base was dozens of meters tall, and it was covered in runes that made it extremely stable. Han Shian Iu's bones broke and his muscles tore apart when he struck that platform. He no longer even appeared human anymore. The entire crowd was deathly silent. Everyone looked at Long Chen with shock, reverence, and terror. Long Chen's power had already surpassed their imaginations. Using the Netherworld Ghost Steps, Long Chen appeared in front of Han Shian Iu with a single step. He put away his saber and clasped his hands behind his back. All of Han Shian Iu's bones had been crushed. He had almost turned into a lump, but this wasn't his worst injury. The worst damage was to his spiritual strength. His soul was starting to grow unstable, like a candle in the wind. That illusory figure behind him completely disappeared, while his spiritual strength was also burned to its limit. Even Long Chen would be unable to save him. Do you have any last words? Long Chen looked at Han Shian Iu. His words didn't contain any ridicule, but they also didn't contain any sympathy. Han Shian Iu coughed up several large mouthfuls of blood, and his gaze became a bit dim. However, his eyes were still filled with unwillingness. You chose complete tempering. Long Chen nodded. 
Yes, I've chosen complete tempering, and I've already tempered over half my bones. Cough. It's all because of those bastards from the Yun family. They made me abandon my complete tempering, and they also placed a spiritual larva inside me. Otherwise, the person dying today would definitely have been you, he said ruthlessly. From their fight, Long Chen had also seen that Han Shian Ayu had given up on his complete tempering and had only tempered 16 bones before attacking Meridian Opening. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been suppressed so much. That was what Han Shian Ayu felt most unwilling about. If he had undergone complete tempering, then with his current realm, the results of their fight would most likely have been reversed. Perhaps, said Long Chen indifferently. There was no point over arguing this point. Who is that person? Why? Would I tell you? Sneered Han Shian Ayu. Perhaps there will come a day when I get revenge for you. If you don't want to tell me, that's also fine. I won't hold up your death. You can do whatever you want. I'll leave. Long Chen turned to leave. Wait. Han Shian Ayu reddened slightly. Can you really get revenge for me? Right now, you're on your final surge before death. If you want revenge, then say what you want to say before you breathe your last breath. Fine. I'll tell you. He is the Yun family's future junior master. He is their strongest junior generation. His name is Han Shian Ayu's voice suddenly stopped. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. Han Shian Ayu's body still contained a trace of life force, but his soul had already been exterminated. Let me take his place to tell you. My name is Yun Wusheng. 1. Remember this name, because the person possessing this name will one day cut off your head. The person talking was precisely the mysterious man from the Yun family. He was looking at Long Chen lightly without the slightest surprise. Yin Wusheng? What a trash name. One day, I'll definitely cover your entire body with injuries. Long Chen shook his head disdainfully. However, there's one aspect of you that's not bad. Thank you for that meridian opening spirit cliff fruit. Although that thing's not worth much, it's so rare for you to be filial. So I won't quibble with you about it. When you go home, say hi to your mother for me. Yin King and Yin Wusheng's expression sunk. Yun Wusheng was their Yun family's peak genius, the future inheritor of the Yun family. His status was incredibly high, so Long Chen's words were practically the greatest possible insult to him. Long Chen, if I killed you now, that would just be bullying. I'll wait until you've finished your complete tempering and reach the meridian opening to cut off your head, said Yun Wusheng icily. That startled everyone. Yun Wusheng was truly confident, saying he would kill Long Chen once he reached the meridian opening realm. However, there was one thing slightly odd that they had noticed. Many people had been glanced at by him when he had first come, and that gaze had felt like the gaze of a death god. Even the Xianchen experts had that feeling. I'd advise you not to think that way because that is very dangerous. With the death of Han Shian Ayu, the enmities between your Yun family and I have basically ended. If you continue to target me, then I, Long Chen, swear to erase your Yun family's name from this world. I, Long Chen. Never make empty promises, and if you want to try me, you can come at me any time, said Long Chen icily. These words were too ruthless, and even Xu Wuhan felt they were too much. Ha 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 ha, good, good. Then let me see just how a bone-forging amateur can eradicate my Yun family. Let me make it clear to you, now that you've killed someone from my Yun family, even if you ascend to the heavens or bore your way into the earth, you won't be able to escape my Yun family's reach. In this world. No one can step on the ancient family's prestige, unless you plan on spending the rest of your life in the Zhuanshan Supermonastery. Take care till the day I cut off your head, sneered Yun Wusheng. Good, then saying anything more is meaningless. Now, that person is already dead, and you've also shown your filial respect. So just scram. My Zhuanshan Supermonastery truly can't compare with your ancient family, so don't stay for food. Just fuck off however far you can. Long Chen waved his hand almost as if he was waving off a beggar. Yin Wusheng was very aware that he couldn't get angry right now, or that would just be elevating Long Chen's status. And yet, although he kept his expression calm, his hair was standing on end. In all his years, he had never been as infuriated as today. If Xu Wuhan wasn't present, he would very likely have immediately attacked. What are you just staring at? Glaring doesn't have any use. There are no leftovers. So scram, pushed Long Chen. The veins on Yun Wusheng's forehead bulged, and a cold light shone in his eyes. A formless energy enveloped Long Chen, and he felt his heart jump. He was just about to take action when Xu Wuhan waved her hand, and that sensation disappeared. This is the Zhuanshan Supermonastery. 
junior master from the Yun family, are you saying you don't place me in your eyes? Xu Wuhan stood in front of Long Chen. Yun Wusheng took a deep breath, forcing himself to stay calm. Monastery head Xu, my Yun family and your Xu family don't have any enmity. Are you not afraid of the consequences of your actions? Junior master, are you trying to threaten me? My Shu family is backed by the Zhuanshan Dao sect. If you think your Yun family can handle the Zhuanshan Dao sect, then just come. It seems the righteous path hasn't gotten excited in a long time, retorted Shu Wuhan. Fine, then we're leaving. Yun Wusheng clenched his teeth and stepped on the teleportation formation with Yun King, disappearing from their sight. Sorry, I've caused some people to be disappointed. I hope those people don't end up dying from rage. Otherwise, for two pieces of garbage to die in the super monastery in one day would be quite embarrassing. Plus, we'd have to waste a coffin, sighed Long Chen. Long Chen, Zhao King Gai was completely infuriated. He was clearly indirectly cursing her. Furthermore, it was in front of everyone. Long Chen, come with me. I have something to discuss with you. Xu Wuhan didn't even glance at Zhao King Gai and pulled Long Chen away. But after taking a few steps, she suddenly turned back. Assistant Monastery heads how, the death deciding stage has disappeared. I'll leave the reconstruction to you. Consider it a formal mission. Excuse me. Chapter 523 Celestial Translator Born to be Junior Master, is Long Chen a Celestial? Once they left the Zhuanshan Super Monastery, Yun King respectfully asked Yun Wusheng. Even she, a Zhuanshan expert, had to be respectful to her family's number one junior generation. He's not. When he fights. There is no resonance with the heavenly deos or manifestation. He's definitely not a celestial. Yin Wusheng shook his head. But then how is he so strong? Once he activated the departed ghost devour art, Han Shianayu had power equal to Xianshan experts, but he was still defeated so miserably. Yin King couldn't help feeling slightly worried when she recalled their fight. Long Chen's potential was too terrifying. That part really is odd. He's not a celestial, but he has such power. Perhaps it has to do with his battle skill. That divine ring behind him is extremely bizarre. The opposite rotation of the two colors absorbs spiritual key for him to use so he won't run out of energy. And when he activates the divine ring, his strength instantly multiplies by several times. This is my first time seeing such an odd battle skill. Yin Wusheng nodded. He had no choice but to admit that Long Chen truly was powerful once he activated his divine ring. In comparison, Han Shianai was far too lacking. Even with the departed ghost devour art, he still hadn't been a match for him. In fact, he hadn't even been able to pose a threat. Then what would happen if you fought him? Asked Yun King carefully. If Long Chen's power is limited to what he revealed, then I can take his life in three blows. Junior Master really is an unrevealed hero. The glory of our Yun family exclaimed Yun King fervently. However, it's clear Long Chen didn't use his full strength. But so what? No matter how strong he is. He definitely can't last more than 10 exchanges with me. HMPH. If it weren't for Shu Wuhan, I would have killed him right there and then. He really is hateful. Yin Wusheng clenched his teeth. Just thinking of how Long Chen had looked at him made him furious. Then what should we do now? We're just going to leave like this? All we did was end up losing a Meridian Opening Spirit Cliff Fruit. Yin King was a bit distressed about that. Meridian Opening Spirit Cliff Fruits were extremely precious. The Yun family was only able to produce less than 20 of them a year. Each one of them was invaluable, and she really was unwilling to have sent one to Long Chen just like that. Most hateful of all, Long Chen had acted like that was their filial duty and then treated them like beggars asking for food, infuriating them. HMPH, that Long Chen really is stupid. That meridian opening spirit cliff fruit is completely defective. Over 90% of its essence has already expired. It's extremely difficult to refine it into a meridian opening pill. And even if he could refine it, at best, it would only be low grade. If it could increase a person's chance of advancing by 10%, it would already be impressive. What difference would there be compared to ordinary meridian opening pills? As an alchemist, he wasn't even able to see through that. He really is stupid enough. All those other baits I prepared ended up being useless, said Yun Wusheng disdainfully. He didn't know that Long Chen had long since seen through that. However, Long Chen wasn't using the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit to refine pills, but to plant its seeds. Although those seeds had already withered and died, with the primal chaos space, he could revive those seeds. In the future, it wouldn't only be the Yun family who could produce meridian opening spirit cliff fruits, 
It was unknown whether or not Yun Wusheng would end up dying from fury if he learned of this. Young master really is brilliant. So what should we do now? Yun King intimately wrapped her arms around Yun Wusheng's elbow with a fawning expression. Yun King looked to be in her 30s, and although that was a bit old in comparison, her figure really was not bad. She had some good looks. Let's wait around for a while and see if there's a chance to quietly catch Long Chen. I need to know his secrets. Other than that goal, that bastard really pisses me off, and I'll definitely have to torment him a bit. Yin Wusheng clenched his teeth. Young master, since you have so much fire within you, how about you let Big Sister King release some of it? Yin King had already wrapped her arms around him from behind, her hands gently rubbing his chest. She continued, I know young master has it very hard. Although those few girls in the family aren't so bad, they still haven't stepped into the Xianchen realm. Let Big Sister help you out. Yun King pressed her body against Yun Wusheng, and he immediately began to breathe more hurriedly. Young Master, don't hold back. I naturally know I can't compare to you, and I don't have any extravagant requests. I just hope that once Young Master succeeds the family master position, he won't forget about Yun King. Yun King's hands became even fiercer. Ha ha ha, good. Then I'll have to thank Big Sister. Yun Wusheng suddenly lifted Yun King and began to rush into the distance. You brat, how are you so brazen? How could you threaten Yun Wusheng and even say you'll exterminate the Yun family? Do you know how powerful the ancient families are? Their inheritance stretches back tens of thousands of years, and even after so many experiences and hardships, they still haven't declined. You want to exterminate their family? Why not just say you'll exterminate the very heavens, within a private room? Xu Wuhan was resentfully rebuking Long Chen. Just how strong was the Yun family? Even the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't dare to easily say they would exterminate an ancient family. Long Chen really was too brazen. Sister, I'm your brother, so you can't call me brat. That sounds off. Long Chen laughed. Stop being flippant. Ah, why can't you just not cause trouble? Why on earth would you anger Yun Wusheng? Even I wouldn't dare do such a thing to the Yun family's junior master, said Xu Wuhan. He's angry? He actually has the face to be angry? That woman from the Yun family caused so much trouble, causing Lu Fang'er to die, causing us to not know if Ye's Hikyu is alive or dead, implicating so many of my brothers. What is he so mad about? Their ancient family really must be a bunch of spoiled idiots. My words today weren't to intimidate them. If they dare cause any more trouble for me, I will definitely exterminate the Yun family. It's not like I don't have experience, raged Long Chen. Experience? You mean, the Wind Spirit Pavilion? Xu Wuhan looked at him with disbelief. Long Chen had an urge to slap himself. How did he end up slipping up here? But it was already too late to take it back. Don't ask. In any case, I won't admit to it. Xu Wuhan was completely astonished. The Wind Spirit Pavilion's disappearance had shaken all the nearby sects, and even she had personally gone over to examine the scene. When she had seen that everything within a thousand miles of the Wind Spirit Pavilion had been turned into barren land, she had been completely dumbfounded. The ground still retained a boundless destructive aura that chilled her heart. Ordinary experts weren't even able to get close to it, or that destructive aura would exterminate their souls. In fact, when she had seen that, she had felt a burst of fear, because that had happened the day after she had accompanied Long Chen to demand them to hand over Men Qi. Afterward, she had had her suspicions, but that extermination of the Wind Spirit Pavilion was simply not something a human could do. The only thing that could cause something like that was heavenly punishment. But heavenly punishment was only something used to scare people, whose tribulation would cause such terrifying wreckage. Furthermore, who would undergo tribulation in their own homes? That was just asking for trouble. This matter had ended up being an unresolved case. The Wind Spirit Pavilion, with its lengthy inheritance, had been exterminated overnight, disappearing from the cultivation world. Because this matter was related to the heavenly deos, many people decided to just drop it after they got a look. They didn't bring it up again, afraid of being contaminated by karma. Xu Wuhan hadn't even connected the Wind Spirit Pavilion's destruction to Long Chen due to how shocking the scale was. But now that he said this, she suddenly recalled that when she had brought him to the pavilion, he had only been in the Tendon Transformation Realm. Then, after an unknown amount of time, he had reached the Bone Forging Realm. Long Chen's slip of the tongue made her think of a terrifying possibility, one that made her bewildered. She looked at Long Chen like he was a monster. Was it really done by you? She was filled with disbelief. Sister, it couldn't be that you'd kill me to remove a scourge from the righteous path. Right, asked Long Chen. 
looking at Long Chen's wily and slippery expression. Xu Wuhan suddenly chuckled and then rebuked. Don't be so wacky. How is it that you are never serious? You're like a scoundrel without any air of an expert. Ah, aren't you trying to make things hard on me? How could a bone-forging rookie display the air of an expert in the face of a sea expansion expert? I still want to live for a few more years. Long Chen shook his head. There really is no saving this child. Xu Wuhan sighed. When he fought, he was like a divine god that had descended upon the world, arrogantly looking down on all. And yet normally, he was like a shameless scoundrel, making all kinds of jokes. She even suspected he had a split personality. She suddenly took out a black stone tablet three meters tall. There were many decorative designs on it, several of which were flower designs. Sister, it couldn't be that you really are planning on crushing me for the sake of righteousness, right? Long Chen couldn't help being startled upon seeing that huge stone. If you're flippant one more time, then I really will crush you, rebuked Xu Wuhan. This is a celestial stone, something I just borrowed from my family. I want to test whether or not you are a celestial. Although there's no resonance with the heavenly deos and no manifestation when you fight, there are some legends of variant celestials that don't have any obvious manifestations. So I just want to test it. What's a celestial? Long Chen was startled. Celestials are. Aya, stop wasting time. Just take the test first. Place your hand on the center of the stone and circulate your energy within the designs. Urged Shu Wuhan expectantly. Long Chen saw there was a special design specifically for his hand, and placing it on it, his spiritual key surged out. Chapter 524 Fighting Across Realms Translator Born to be Buzz The stone tablet suddenly trembled, but then it quickly became silent. Is this really the case? Shu Wuhan sighed disappointedly. Sister, did I not use enough force? Asked Long Chen. You can try circulating your full strength, said Shu Wuhan. Buzz Long Chen fully activated the Feng Fu star and Aliyah star, and his spiritual key surged out, but it didn't cause any reaction with the stone tablet. It's fine, there's no need to keep trying. You aren't a celestial, sighed Shu Wuhan. Long Chen pulled back his energy and asked, What is a celestial? What relationship does it have to the stone tablet? Celestials are the true favorites of heaven and earth. The legends are that celestials are heavenly geniuses born to deal with worldly calamities. The heavens pamper them blessing them with karmic luck, and their combat strength is shocking. Within the super monastery, there are countless favored, but compared to celestials, they aren't even fit to wipe their shoes. If I were to make a comparison, favored are blades of grass and flowers, while celestials are towering trees. The grass is the cornerstone of the world, but then celestials are this world's towering pillars. They are the leading characters of this world, at the level of top geniuses. Only celestials are able to remain unrevealed within the same realm and can fight across realms. When they fight, karmic luck supports them, and that mysterious energy makes them unrevealed. It can be said that once a celestial matures to their peak, they are the peak figures of the cultivation world, capable of looking down on anyone else. Other than that, they have another special point. If a celestial has awoken, then when they advance to bone forging, the heavens will bring down heavenly tribulation on them using thunder force to temper their physical body and will, stabilizing their foundation. That is what it means to be the favorite of the heavens, sighed Shu Wuhan. There's such a good thing in this world? When I undergo tribulation, aren't the heavens just purely trying to kill me? Why can't I feel a trace of that kind-heartedness? Long Chen was filled with a sensation of unfairness. This celestial tablet was formed with a celestial stone at the core. It is extremely sensitive to the heavenly deos and it is used specifically to test celestials. Celestials are split into their own levels. Do you see the nine flowers on the stell? If a celestial circulates their spiritual key, those flowers will light up. The more flowers that light up, the higher the rank of the celestial, and the more blessed they are by the heavens. One flower makes you a rank one celestial, while nine flowers make you a rank nine celestial. Rank nine celestials are known as true celestials, and such figures only exist in legends. It's unknown how many years have passed since one has appeared. As for rank 1 to rank 8, those are actually just quasi-celestials. However, in the current cultivation world, they are still lumped together as celestials. Since you underwent a tribulation at the bone-forging realm, you should be a celestial. At worst, you should at least be a rank 1 celestial. It really is odd, sighed Shu Wuhan. Long Chen bitterly smiled inside. He hadn't just undergone tribulation at bone-forging. He had started going through tribulation since blood condensation. 
If it hadn't been for the spirit world expert's reminder, he'd have long since been dead. Just thinking of how the heavens had made a blood condensation rookie undergo tribulation, Long Chen had an urge to curse the nonsensical heavens. Sister, even if I'm not a celestial, it doesn't matter. With my strength, I wouldn't be inferior to anyone, consoled Long Chen. Fool, you just don't know how terrifying celestials are. Let me tell you something, that Yun Wusheng who you cursed is a rank 1 celestial, said Shu Wuhan. What, even he's a celestial? The heavens will bless him? Then the heavens really are blind. Long Chen shook his head, aggrieved at the unfairness. Ah, don't feel so indignant. Although you aren't a celestial, your strength wouldn't rank you beneath celestials. Within the same realm, perhaps you can fight with one of them for a while. But remember, when facing celestials, you cannot try fighting across realms. Because that's just suicide, warned Shu Wuhan. I understand. Long Chen nodded obediently. He knew she was worried he would be too obstinate. It wasn't as if he was an idiot. Of course, he wouldn't just stubbornly clash with someone head on when he would be the only one to suffer losses. If my guess is correct, Yin Wusheng came today mostly to see whether or not you are a celestial and also to test your strength, said Shu Wuhan. I know, that's why I didn't expose my true strength when I fought just now. If it hadn't been for the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit, I wouldn't have even bothered to accept such a senseless challenge. Long Chen smiled when he thought of the meridian opening fruit. He had already sent it into the primal chaos space, and the saplings had already grown over a foot tall. Just looking at that scene made him feel happy. For a single meridian opening spirit cliff fruit to make you this happy, you really must not have any worries, said Shu Wuhan helplessly. To agree to a deep match with someone just because of a fruit. Sometimes she felt that when Long Chen was smart, he was frighteningly smart, but when he was foolish, he pushed the bounds of a person's imagination. However, the fact that you didn't expose the split the heavens battle skill is at least a bit smart. After this, bring my tablet to go select some heaven class battle skills from the battle skill pavilion. Try not to use split the heavens. Most likely, the heaven splitting divine sect is too far, and so the news of the Jiuli secret realm didn't reach them. That matter will end there. But in the future, don't you split the heavens, that is taboo. Just pick a few heaven class battle skills you like. Although their power is inferior to split the heavens, they won't be that much weaker. At the very least, it's much safer, said Shu Wuhan. Shu Wuhan was also very worried about the heaven splitting divine sect that was in existence on the same level as the Zhuanshan Dao sect let alone her. Even her Shu family would be unable to do anything to them. Right now. The only good news was that there was no news from the Heaven Splitting Divine Sect most likely. The Heaven Splitting Divine Sect had too many disciples. And they couldn't pay attention to every disciple that explored the many secret realms. Shu Wuhan asked Long Chen whether or not he wanted to just stay in the Super Monastery now. That way, she could keep a constant guard over him, and it would be safer. She was worried about the Yun family's schemes. However, Long Chen declined. As a cultivator. How could a person live off another person's charity just for safety? Furthermore, he still was worried about the matter with the Dragonblood Legion. He had to keep watch over them personally. This time, he hadn't exposed the Dragonblood Legion, as none of them had come with him here. It was impossible for Shu Wuhan to not notice how powerful the Dragonblood Warriors were. For over 300 people to undergo complete tempering would definitely astonish anyone. To avoid being exposed too early, the best method was to be more low-key. Now, Long Chen left Shu Wuhan's room, going directly to the Super Monastery's battle skill pavilion with her tablet. Long Chen found that he really never had enough time. The matter of training in more battle skills should have been something he brought up, but he had been too busy. Ever since returning from the secret realm, he had only taken a single day's break, and that had been when they had had their barbecue. Other than that day, he had spent all day concocting pills and cultivating. He hadn't even dared to take a 15-minute break. If Shu Wuhan hadn't taken the initiative to urge him, he still wouldn't have had time to go to the battle skill pavilion. Within the monastery, the only battle skills present were in the earth class and below. If you wanted to learn heaven class battle skills, you had to go to the super monastery. Furthermore, you couldn't bring the tomes outside of the battle skill pavilion nor could you copy them. The rules were very strict. You, why have you come here? Just as Long Chen arrived, he heard a voice trembling with fear. When he saw the owner of the voice, he couldn't help but laugh. Oh, how coincidental. Does your face not hurt? I came here to pick out some battle skills. I feel like I only use one skill when fighting. 
and I only have such limited abilities. There's no beauty to it, no creativity. I've gotten tired of it. Long Chen laughed. That person was precisely the one who had come to receive Long Chen on the day of the sect leader meeting. He had intentionally provoked and insulted him, and then almost died from Long Chen's slap in the face. Back then, Long Chen had already deduced that this idiot was being used by someone. If it wasn't Sha Tong He, then it had to be Xiao Yang Chang. Other people didn't have that ability, but to try and intimidate Long Chen like this really was too foolish. This person had ended up being slapped for nothing. Originally, he had been planning on going to the law enforcement branch to report Long Chen. But then he had heard that Long Chen had slapped Sha Tong He's face four times in front of the monastery head, and so he had abandoned the thought. Now, seeing Long Chen today, he began to tremble in terror, thinking Long Chen had come to target him. Let me warn you, don't do anything stupid. I'm on my official shift, and if you strike, that will be a grave offense of the rules. He stuttered, but then he realized that Long Chen wasn't even looking at him and had gone directly into the battle skill pavilion. Only then did he sigh in relief. Long Chen didn't care about an ant. Cultivation was just like that. Some people were stupid and had no idea how to size up the situation. Just being face slapped was already fortunate for him. At the very least, he was still alive. There were many people in this world who had ended up silently disappearing because they had stood on the wrong side. Novaloon.com stop. The battle skill pavilion is an important location. Idlers can't randomly enter. Suddenly, two elders appeared in front of Long Chen. I'm not an idler. I came to select battle skills, said Long Chen. Tablet. The two elders were expressionless. Seeing the tablet Long Chen handed over, the two of them were slightly startled and then nodded. The heaven section is straight ahead. Third path on the right. After saying that, the two of them pressed the stone wall, and a passage opened for him. Damn. Did they need to make it so exaggerated? Long Chen couldn't help being startled. The stone wall had looked extremely ordinary but it was actually dozens of meters thick. Hurry and enter, urged one of the elders. Only then did he realize that countless runes were shining on the stone door, and it seemed it used up a great deal of their energy to keep it open. He hastily walked in. As soon as he entered, the stone door slammed back down. Long Chen now felt like he was isolated from the rest of the world. There was not the slightest sound. Chapter 525 Lightning Rushing Hand Translator Born to be fuck. How frightening. The sensation of suddenly being cut off from all his senses truly was a frightening one. It felt as if a boulder was crushing him. But then thinking about it, he was also relieved. The Supermonastery's battle skill pavilion was an important location, and having such defenses was normal. He quickly advanced, choosing the third pathway. On either side of the passage were many stone doors. Each stone door had some words on them, and when he looked at them, he saw that they marked the classification and grades of the battle skills. He ignored those doors and went directly as deep as possible. At the end of the passage, a large door appeared. What is this supposed to be? Long Chen was dumbfounded upon seeing this door. There was no opening mechanism. Was he supposed to smash it open? Suddenly, a light sound came from the stone door, and a notch appeared. Long Chen hastily tried placing the tablet Xu Wuhan had given him into it. The stone door slowly pulled into the wall, revealing a room. This room was around 300 meters wide. There were no decorations within the room, only many foot-long jade tablets embedded into the walls. Arriving at the first tablet, he saw a line of characters on it. Middle grade heaven class battle skill. Lightning rushing hand. Requirements. Lightning attribute spiritual key. Nice. This is just what I need. Long Chen was delighted. Now that the lightning serpent tattoo had appeared on his arm, he found that his thunder force no longer had any rejection for him, and he could easily control it but the thunderization Artie had learned was of too low quality and unsuitable for controlling such powerful thunder force. Now he practically went crazy with delight. Pressing a finger on the jade tablet, he inserted his spiritual strength. That was what Xu Wuhan had taught him. As expected, the jade tablet immediately lit up, and a vast amount of information poured into Long Chen's head. He hastily opened up his soul, allowing the information to enter. These were extremely convenient spiritual jade tablets that recorded the contents of battle skills, and the information within them would be copied once a person activated them with their spiritual strength. What an exquisite circulation method, Long Chen couldn't help exclaiming, and with a thought, his lightning python quivered and his hand was covered in a layer of violet light. What a terrifying condensing ability. With the thunder force on my hand, I can even grab Xi'anchen weapons. Long Chen couldn't help being astonished and delighted. 
This lightning rushing hand was an extremely exquisite lightning battle skill, and through its special circulation method, it could compress his thunder force. That thunder force would condense over his hand without the slightest bit of them scattering, but once it touched something, then with a thought from its master, it would erupt with irresistible force. Within the battle skill pavilion, it is forbidden to activate battle skills. A row resounded throughout the pavilion. Long Chen jumped, hastily putting away the lightning on his hand and apologizing. Sorry, really sorry. After putting away the lightning, the voice also faded. Long Chen wasn't even clear on where the voice had come from Novaloon.com It seems there are people watching here. Long Chen was slightly startled, and he didn't waste any more time. He hurried over to the second jade tablet, seeing a line of words. Middle grade heaven class battle skill. Wind moon engulfs stars. Requirements. Wind attribute spiritual key. Not bad. Not bad. This is good for one or. And it's even a group slaughter technique. He. I really have struck gold. Tang Wanner was currently comprehending the wind mysteries within the wind spirit crystal, and her comprehension and control over her wind energy was advancing at a shocking pace. This wind moon engulfs stars was definitely a treasure for her. Once he brought it back, perhaps he would get an opportunity to obtain a beauty's kiss. Long Chen didn't look into the wind moon engulfs stars in detail. After everything within had been transferred into his mind, he sealed it within his soul. Later, he could directly transmit it to Tang Wanur. In any case, going through it in detail was useless to him, as this battle skill was not his style. He hastily moved on to his next target. High Grade Heaven Class, Mountain Crushing Body Tempering Art. Requirements, only those with powerful physical bodies can train in this. Otherwise, it will cause your body to explode. Be warned. High Grade Cultivation Technique? It seems very strong. Long Chen was surprised to find something like this here, and he hastily investigated it. As expected, it truly was an extremely powerful cultivation technique. However, the body tempering arts recorded inside had extremely high requirements. If your body couldn't endure three caddies of force, it was forbidden to train in it. A caddy was a unit of measurement from ancient times. One caddy was equivalent to 300,000 pounds. Three caddies was already almost a million pounds. Furthermore, that requirement was based purely on physical strength and could not be dependent on activating any battle skills or cultivation techniques. It was an extremely harsh demand, and beneath the Xianchen realm, there were few people who could train in it. But once you reached the Xianchen realm, you would have even better things to train in. Who would bother with this? He, this is practically perfect for the Dragon Blood Legion. Once they've tempered more than 100 bones, then it'll be no problem for them to have three caddies of strength. Right now, the majority of the Dragon Blood Legion had tempered at least 100 bones. As for the remaining members, they would also reach that point quickly. After all, their talents weren't the same, and it was impossible for them to advance at exactly the same rate. However, even those who cultivated slower would reach the 100 temper realm within 10 days, and then they could train in the mountain crushing body tempering art. After learning these three techniques, Long Chen had just been about to select a fourth technique when a voice resounded within the battle skill pavilion. You may only choose three battle skills to learn each time you enter the heaven class portion of the battle skill pavilion. Now Long Chen was paying attention and heard that this voice came from one of the two Xianchen elders guarding the door. The voice was distorted from echoing in the pavilion, but now he could tell that this was the same speaker as the one who had roared at him previously. How come I've never heard of that rule? The monastery head gave me her tablet allowing me to learn any of the techniques here, raged Long Chen. In truth, Xu Wuhan hadn't said that, but he knew she wouldn't care. If Long Chen didn't take advantage of this opportunity, then that would be too much of a loss. These are the rules, was the icy reply. Suddenly, the jade tablet receded into the stone walls, disappearing completely. Fuck, are you hurrying me out? Fine, count yourselves as vicious. Long Chen furiously left the battle skill pavilion. When he reached the exit, the passage automatically opened for him. When he walked out, the passageway closed again. Long Chen glared at the two elders, but they didn't even glance at him, acting as if this was just as the rules dictated. Long Chen didn't say anything. He walked away, but just a dozen steps later, he turned back and arrived in front of the two of them. Oh, how coincidental, to run into the two of you again. The revered monastery head has ordered me to come learn some battle skills, laughed Long Chen. Didn't you just learn them? asked one elder. If you already ate once, would you never eat again? said Long Chen lightly. 
according to the rules I've already acted according to the rules. Each time, I can only look through three techniques, right? Well, now I've come again. This is my second time coming here, so thank you for your trouble. But I want to look through another three techniques. Then I'll come out and come again a third time, said Long Chen. What kind of garbage rules were these? This was clearly just making things hard on him intentionally. If they wanted to play, then he would accompany them. Although he didn't know what exactly their intentions were, it still made him furious. With the monastery head's tablet, you still want to make things hard on me? You must have a mental illness. Furthermore, it's not like me training in battle skills makes things hard on you. The two elders looked at each other, each seeing the other's helplessness. They could only open the door for Long Chen again. When the door closed again, one of them shook his head and said, This Long Chen really is a ruthless character. You should tell Xiao Yang Chang not to target him anymore. Otherwise, the ones to suffer will definitely be you guys. Long Chen didn't know about that, but he also didn't care. He was planning on going through every single technique within the battle skill pavilion, as those were things the Dragonblood Legion required. Six hours later, Long Chen finally left, perfectly contented. Dozens of high-grade battle skills had been sealed within his mind. That was only possible due to how vast his spiritual strength was. For an ordinary bone-forging expert, memorizing two heaven-class battle skills would already be impressive. Sealing such a technique within the mind required a vast amount of energy. Just relying on memory wasn't enough. There was simply too much information within those high-class techniques. Not only did battle skills contain a circulation method, there were also taboos as well as many principles and theories, and even some experience from seniors. It could be said that if a thousand people used the same battle skill, it would cause a thousand different effects. A person needed to go through drilling and experience to find out the best way to use a technique. Once he left the battle skill pavilion, Long Chen returned the tablet to Shu Wuhan. On his way back, he saw Cao King Gai furiously directing people to rebuild the new death deciding stage. Long Chen walked by her grandly and openly, making her even more furious. After doing that, seeing how furious Cao King Gai was, Long Chen's mood became much more pleased, and only then did he step into the transportation formation and return to the first monastery. The monastery erupted into a clamor because the news that he had killed Han Shian Ayu had long since arrived. It was not easy to calm everyone down and get them to calmly cultivate, but he finally managed to return to his own residence. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you've returned. He had only just arrived at his yard when a young woman in disciple robes bowed in greeting. Chapter 526 Assassin's Translator Born to be who are you? Long Chen was startled. His residence was private, and there had never been anyone to disturb him. Why would a female disciple appear here suddenly? I am Xiao Kui. Could it be that you've forgotten? A few days ago, Elder Tu Fang had me deliver a message to you. She laughed. Oh, I remember now. Back then, I asked you how old you are, but you refused to tell me. Long Chen also laughed. A girl's age is a secret. Xiao Kui blushed. A blood-red saber silently stabbed through Xiao Kui's chest. Xiao Kui looked at Long Chen with terror. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Sorry, but I never asked Xiao Kui her age. Long Chen shook his head apologetically. When he had seen her, he really hadn't realized she was Xiao Kui. Only once she told him did he recall that they had had such an interaction. Although he had only interacted with Xiao Kui ever so slightly, he now felt something was off about her. But at the same time, he was unable to say what it was. That was why he had tested her just now, and Xiao Kui had ended up exposing herself. Now I know what's wrong. The fragrance coming from you is strong, but you don't have any of a girl's body odor. For a man to dress himself up like a girl, it really must have been hard on you. Long Chen shook his head. You, it'd be best for you to not make any sudden movements. My saber contains my spiritual key. If you move, it will immediately cause your body to explode. If I haven't guessed wrongly, you must be an assassin from the Blood Kill Hall. Correct? Asked Long Chen. Ha 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 ha. To die to someone like you is acceptable. Xiao Kui's voice suddenly became that of a man's. But it didn't contain the slightest bit of fear. Long Chen, being targeted by my Blood Kill Hall is equivalent to having a Yama King stuck to you. Death will be your final end. Haha, <laughs> PFFT. Unexpectedly, the assassin self-destructed, filling the sky with blood. What? Even his blood contains poison. What viciousness. Long Chen suddenly felt the world spinning around him. Just at this moment, another figure popped out of nowhere and stabbed a dagger towards Long Chen's back. 
He was another assassin who had been patiently waiting this entire time, not releasing the slightest aura or hostility. Even when his companion had been stabbed, he hadn't released the slightest fluctuation. He only revealed himself when his companion had self-destructed and poisoned Long Chen, flashing into action to kill him with a single blow. But a blood-red saber seemed to inadvertently and yet also intentionally spin through the air, just happening to slash apart that assassin's waist, cutting him in two. The saber clanged onto the ground. At the same time, Long Chen also fell to the ground. A black arrow suddenly shot out of the room at his heart. Just as the arrow was about to reach him, Long Chen raised a hand covered in violet light and smashed apart the arrow. At the same time, he also pointed out a finger. Lightning finger. A bolt of lightning shot out of his finger and instantly pierced into the room. The sound of a body exploding rang out. Only then did Long Chen crawl up from the ground and pat the dust off his body. Picking up his saber, he looked at the corpses. His expression a bit odd. Looks like I've been feeling too secure recently. I actually forgot to activate my divine sense immediately. He muttered to himself. Divine sense was something specific to Long Chen. He had once asked Men Qi about it. But Men Qi didn't know anything about divine sense. She could only use her spiritual strength to scan for spiritual fluctuations. But the divine sense Long Chen used had the ability to see everything with spiritual strength. The former could only sense the fluctuations of life and find out their positions, but Long Chen could actually see them. These assassins had been extremely skillful, especially the last two. They had completely hidden their spiritual fluctuations so that no one would be able to sense them. Even spiritual strength wouldn't be able to sense them. Ordinary experts would definitely have died. That was the most terrifying aspect of assassins. But although they could conceal themselves from spiritual perception, they were unable to escape Long Chen's divine sense. Under the observation of his divine sense, they had nowhere to hide. However, he had been afraid of them getting away, so he had put on an act of almost dying. Assassins were only specialized in assassinations and fleeing. He had no assurance in being able to chase one of them down. Only once all three were dead and there was no one else around did he get back up. The corpse on the ground was the only one that was remotely intact. It had a bronze badge. Picking up the badge. He saw a skull had been carved into it, and at the mouth of the skeleton was a bloody dagger. The carving was extremely exquisite, almost lifelike. It was extremely bloody, and the carving of the blood dripping from the dagger was extremely chilling. On the other side of the badge was a strange mark, but he was unable to understand its meaning. Perhaps it was a code name, or perhaps it was their level. They were all at the midbone forging realm, so their cultivation bases weren't high, and their combat abilities weren't outstanding but they were specialized in assassinations. They are cold-hearted, emotionless, uncaring about their own lives. Long Chen was lost in thought. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins had finally arrived. Their abilities truly were powerful. Somehow, they had managed to sneak their way into the first monastery. That didn't mean that the monastery's defenses weren't good enough, but that these people were too skillful and specialized. That first assassin had managed to dress himself into appearing like a woman in such a perfect way that even Long Chen hadn't seen any flaws. If he hadn't had an odd feeling inside, causing him to test her, he might have ended up being killed. These assassins were all madmen, willing to go to any means necessary to achieve their goals. They were definitely difficult to handle. If they only aimed to kill him, he wouldn't feel afraid. Even if he was stabbed in his vitals, he had the primal chaos beat and could instantly heal. Unless they managed to instantly chop off his head, he could still recover. However, Long Chen didn't believe they were capable of that. What he was worried about was that these madmen would assassinate the people by his side. Then their chances of succeeding would be extremely high. After cleaning up quickly, Long Chen called out Men Qi, Tang Wanur, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and all the other Dragonblood warriors, telling them that the assassins from the Blood Kill Hall had arrived. Fuck, it's not like we ever provoked them. Why would they come target us? Raged Gu Yang. They're just a bunch of madmen who buy lives with money. There's no need to get angry. Their target is me, and I can handle them. Today, I called you all out to tell you a few things. First, all of you enter seclusion. No matter what happens, don't come out. Wait until you finish complete tempering and reach the peak of bone forging. At that time, advance to meridian opening in one go, said Long Chen. Advance in one go? Is that going to be all right? Asked Men Qi worriedly. Their cultivation bases were all raised by medicinal pills. Advancing this quickly was a cultivation taboo. Don't worry, we'll be fine. 
The Dragonblood Legion's power surpasses your imagination. They're all true warriors who have killed their way out of a sea of blood. Their foundations will be fine. Other than that, although your cultivation bases were rapidly increased with medicinal pills, as long as you have an appropriate cultivation technique, you can still make your foundation even sturdier without battling. Long Chen smiled. Boss, did you obtain another treasure again? Guo Ran's eyes brightened. Yes, I obtained quite a few techniques from the Super Monastery this time. Let me tell you a piece of good news. Starting today, each of you can start training in a High Heaven Class Cultivation Technique, said Long Chen. High Heaven Class. Heaven Class Cultivation Techniques were even more precious than Heaven Class Battle Skills, and for it to be the High Heaven Class, everyone was filled with disbelief. I won't waste any words, but I guarantee the cultivation technique will completely satisfy you. With this cultivation technique and the assistant of high grade battle skills, each of you will have the power to battle across realms. Long Chen transmitted the mountain crushing body tempering art to each person, causing each of them to be filled with wild joy. Cultivation techniques were the foundation of a person's cultivation, and the stronger that foundation, the more power they could release. A high heaven class cultivation technique was something they didn't even dare dream of obtaining. Sister King Yu, you and the other women can't train in it for now due to your innate constitutions. But that's fine, because in a bit, I'll refine some body strengthening pills for you, and then you can train in it. Within the Dragonblood Legion, there were five women. If their innate constitutions weren't strong enough, they could make up for it with more work and resources. Other than that, I also have heaven class battle skills but I don't want you guys to get distracted, so I won't distribute them just yet. Everyone should just focus on cultivating. Go into seclusion, and don't come out until you finish complete tempering. You don't need to worry about the medicinal pills, said Long Chen. Hearing that he had heaven class battle skills as well, everyone's eyes shone, and they wished they could immediately reach complete tempering to cultivate those techniques. After handling that, Long Chen returned to his own residence. After thinking for a while, he decided to go find Elder Tu Fang and tell him the news that he had been targeted by the Blood Kill Hall. That made Tu Fang jump in fright. There were few who ever lived after being targeted by them. He urged Long Chen to go to the Super Monastery, but he declined that suggestion, telling Tu Fang that it would be fine as long as every disciple returned to their own residences. After that, Long Chen returned to his residence and quickly completed some work. Then, he simply waited while eating medicinal pills. Three days later, a light sound interrupted Long Chen while he was refining pills. Chapter 527 The Pill Tower Sorrow Translator Born to be the sound was extremely light, almost imperceptible, but Long Chen smiled. He knew that his guest had arrived. Activating his divine sense, he could instantly see everything within several miles. He clearly saw a figure concealed within a corner of his residence. That figure was like a lizard, crawling on the wall. Because of the darkness of night, even if someone walked right past them, they wouldn't notice them. Furthermore, that person had concealed their aura perfectly, making themselves appear just like a lifeless rock. That person continued to hide for a quarter hour before slowly beginning to wriggle. If Long Chen hadn't been personally watching it, he definitely wouldn't have believed that there was such a movement technique. The person was like a snake, wriggling themselves forward, looking like they didn't have any bones in their body. The odd movement didn't cause any sound. This is what it means to be a professional. Long Chen couldn't help feeling some praise. That person wriggled their way in, glanced into Long Chen's room, and began to rush towards the corner. But his foot had only just touched the ground when he felt something like a thin string. And without hesitation, he turned and fled. However, three arrows show out, and one of them struck him dead on. Realizing he had fallen into a trap, he was about to flee when his body suddenly stiffened and he collapsed to the ground. Long Chen opened the door and walked into his room, putting away the corpse and setting up the mechanism again. Then, patting his hands, he once more began to consume medicinal pills. Time passed quickly. Long Chen spent all day consuming pills and setting up his mechanism. In the blink of an eye, 10 days had passed, and he had tempered a total of 128 bones. His cultivation base had also reached the seventh vestige of bone forging. During these days, he had also obtained 11 corpses. Without exception, they were all bone forging experts with a bronze badge. Those assassins had raised Xu Wuhan's alert, and she had personally gone to tell Long Chen that these were simply the Blood Kill Hall's amateurs. The Blood Kill Hall had sent them after Long Chen merely as some tempering. Within the Blood Kill Hall, there was a mission distribution system. 
and assassins could pick their own missions. If a mission was failed too many times, the blood kill hall would increase the rank of the mission. Once the mission rank was increased, then higher ranked assassins would come to kill him. Right now, he was merely encountering the weakest bronze rank assassins of the blood kill hall. The blood kill hall's assassins were ranked bronze, silver, gold, and dark gold. But she did tell him one thing that comforted him a great deal. The blood kill hall had their own integrity. They never assassinated anyone of a lower realm than them. What they sought was using their assassination arts to kill those stronger than they were. Assassinating targets in the same realm as them was their bottom line. In other words, Long Chen would not encounter any meridian opening assassins. So he decided to turn down Chu Wuhan's good intentions and focus on refining and consuming pills. Occasionally, he would go check on the current state of the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen was extremely grateful towards Shen Wenlong. The medicinal pills had been coming in a steady supply. This time, he had sent him 10 million bone tempering pills. He had directly told the sender that they didn't need any more. This was enough for everyone to undergo complete tempering. At the same time, Zhen Wenlong sent Long Chen news that they had already set their plan fully into motion half a month ago. On the same day, all the Huaian sect's auction houses announced that the Huaian sect could also refine bone tempering pills, and that their effect was twice as high as the pill towers. The thing that made Long Chen clap in praise was that the Huaian sect wasn't selling them in an auction style, but selling them at a 10% lower price than the pill tower. The entire cultivation world was greatly shaken. For countless years, only the pill tower had possessed the formula for the bone tempering pills. They had monopolized all the profit. Now, the Huaian sect had somehow developed their own formula. Although the appearance and pill fragrance were all the exact same as the pill towers, the effect was double. That had caused countless sects to send people to the Huaian sect. What kind of joke was that? Double the effect for only 90% of the cost? Only an idiot wouldn't go. It went without saying that the Huaian sect truly knew how to do business. They didn't immediately release too many of the pills. They only gave people a taste to let them see the pills effect. They first created contracts for the various sects. Once those sects signed, they gained a large down payment for a long-term purchase order. Those contracts were all for at least a hundred years, and some sects even signed thousand-year contracts, which required an immense down payment. One reason was because bone-tempering pills were too hard to obtain. Who wouldn't turn greedy when facing one with double the effect at a fair price? The other reason was because of the Huaian sect's reputation. After doing business for countless years, they had never conned anyone. Their spotless reputation was worthy of trust. However, the only ones to make those long-term contracts with the Huaian sect were the smaller sects. The larger sects were still hesitating. Due to their size, they needed even more medicinal pills. The majority of those were bought from the pill tower. That didn't just include bone-tempering pills. It was simply that the bone-tempering pills were used up the fastest. For just a small advantage, they might end up offending the pill tower. If the pill tower cut them off from their medicinal pills in their fury, then that would be extremely troublesome. After all, the Huaian sect did not specialize in medicinal pills, and there were many pills that the Huaian sect didn't have. However, the old leaders of some sects were not all useless. Some of the smarter ones stealthily sent their own people to create their own sect using that sect's name. They agreed to purchase medicinal pills from the Huaian sect in any case, as long as they did it covertly enough. Not letting the pill tower obtain any proof, it would be fine. As a result, Countless tiny sects sprang up within the cultivation world, like bamboo after the spring rain. The most marvelous thing was just how tiny some of those sects were. Within the entire sect, there was only one member. The sect leader was also the disciple. However, whether or not that kind of conduct was just deceiving themselves, the Huaian sect had at least started off beautifully. Just the down payments they had received were equivalent to a year's worth of income for them. That achievement made Shen Wenlong incredibly excited. He said that in less than half a year, a huge sum of money would enter Long Chen's pocket. While Shen Wenlong was excited, the pill tower was dumbfounded. This blow was too vicious. The entire cultivation world was shaken. Even Pill Valley, who kept themselves isolated from mundane affairs, ended up disturbed. When they saw the bone-tempering pills the pill tower was selling, they were completely infuriated. When they saw they were selling fake medicine, they immediately started an investigation to find out who did it. As a result, they realized all three of the Pill Tower's families had participated in this scheme. For some profit, they had cut the medicinal effect in half. 
The extra profit from the fake pills had been divided evenly by the three families. When the investigators from the Pill Valley found out, they almost blew up with rage. However, the three families truly did have their own methods. They ended up giving those investigators an irresistible sum of money so that they would say some kind words on their behalf Novaloon.com in the end, to dissuade the world's suspicions. The Pill Tower announced that they were completely committed to the development and refining of medicinal pills, and that it was impossible for them to sell fakes. As for the problem of the medicinal effect, the Pill Tower's explanation was that there had been a small problem with the new formula they had developed which had caused the medicinal effect to drop. To express their sincerity, they announced that the bone-tempering pills they were now selling were 100% the genuine product, and for their old buyers, they offered a 20% discount. In a show of their determination to fix things, they had even thrown millions of the defective bone-tempering pills into the garbage. However, doing this was still too late. The Huaian sect had long since expected that reaction, and so their long-term contracts with those sects were extremely profitable. Furthermore, that contract clearly stated that if they wanted to back out, they would lose their down payment. That tightly bound countless sects to the Huaian sect let alone a 20% discount. Even a 40% discount wouldn't be able to pull those sects back. If they did, they would end up losing a fortune. Furthermore, there were also many people who had long since grown tired of the pill tower's arrogance. Even when buying pills from them, when giving them their money, they still had to act so subserviently. When compared to how courteous the Huaian sect was, how they never put on airs no matter what their cultivation base was, they felt much more comfortable with them. The pill tower was completely dejected, and yet they were unwilling to end things here. They actually made a new announcement. A few days ago, the formula for the bone tempering pill had been stolen. They were clearly implying it was done by the Huaian sect but the Huaian sect's reply was extremely direct. If someone stole the pill formula from you, wouldn't they be refining the same fake medicine as you? You should think before you speak. As the Huaian sect and the pill tower fought, Long Chen had no time to pay attention. Over the past few days, he hadn't had time to cultivate. He was focused on refining pills because within the Dragon Blood Legion, Gu Yang was the first to completely temper all his bones, and Long Chen was focused on urging on the primal chaos space. The meridian opening spirit cliff trees finally gave birth to the first batch of fruits. Half a month later, Long Chen was bursting with joy. Other than him, everyone had now advanced to the meridian opening realm. Today, Long Chen and the others finally exited their seclusion to eat and drink, partying as hard as they could, but their party was interrupted halfway. A powerful explosion suddenly rocked the monastery. Chapter 528 Dragon Blood Legion Attack Translator Born to be enemy attack A harsh shout resounded throughout the monastery. The silent night had become a prelude to a massacre. Boom. A huge sword image descended from the sky, breaking the first monastery's transportation formations. Following that, dozens of figures appeared like specters. Those people were all Xi'anshan experts. Behind them was another mass of people. GGGG. A chilling laugh resounded throughout the monastery, one that made their blood turn cold. Long Chen, you destroyed my disciple. Today, I'll exterminate your entire monastery along with you. An emaciated elder waved a black cane, and hundreds of meridian opening experts surged into the monastery. Experts from the corrupt path. Tu Fang's expression changed completely. They had over 20 Xi'anshan experts and hundreds of meridian opening experts. They were clearly planning on completely raising the first monastery, not letting a single blade of grass survive. Prepare for battle, shouted Tu Fang. He took out his sword and stood at the front of everyone. He knew this was a pre-planned sneak attack. If they tried to flee, they would only be cut down from behind. They had to face them head on. He, old fogey, you can die, sneered one of the meridian opening experts. He saw that they only had one meridian opening expert and no Xi'anshan experts. They could all see Tu Fang was the cornerstone of their morale. Once he was killed, the entire monastery would collapse, each person turning into a departed spirit under their blades. Xi'anshan experts, don't attack just yet. Keep watch over the monastery. Our target is Long Chen, and he can't be allowed to escape, shouted the emaciated man. He stood at the top of a pagoda, overlooking the entire monastery. Die. Suddenly, a woman's cry rang out and the meridian opening expert charging a two fang suddenly stiffened, collapsing on the ground. All the corrupt experts were startled and paused. Who's there? shouted a Xi'anshan expert. The person you're looking for. An icy voice caused all the despairing disciples to feel hope. 
its senior apprentice brother Long Chen, Heavens, Gu Yang and the others, their auras. Long Chen appeared in front of them in black robes. Behind him were Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, Yu Zifeng, and all the Dragonblood Legion warriors. They had all advanced to Meridian opening, but because they had only just advanced, their auras were extremely unstable, and they were unable to keep it reserved. Their vast auras shocked everyone. Ha ha ha. Good. So you've come, Long Chen. I won't need to look for you. Since you destroyed my beloved disciple, today I'll kill you all to accompany him. The emaciated elder with the black cane clenched his teeth. Who is your disciple? Long Chen frowned. Yin Luo was the icy reply. Ah, I think I've heard of him. Long Chen nodded. Bastard. My disciple was killed by you. Today, I'll definitely tear you apart. Raged the elder. Kill. Kill them all. Kill. The corrupt experts roared. All of them taking out their weapons. Their auras erupting. A shocking killing intent caused the entire monastery to shiver. All disciples retreat further away. This is not your battlefield. The disciples all retreated. Even if Long Chen wanted them to disband, they would not hesitate. Brothers of the Dragonblood Legion, today is your first battle since advancing to Meridian opening. It will also be your first battle as Dragonblood Warriors. What are you all waiting for? There are so many grindstones in front of you, waiting for you to temper yourselves on. Use your weapons to pierce through the armor of your enemies. Use their evil souls to bear witness to our hot blood. Starting today, the Dragonblood Legion is going to rise to the peak. No one can block our path. Brothers, kill them all. Long Chen's furious roar shook the land. Kill, kill, kill. Gu Yang and the others had already turned red-eyed. They felt as if their blood was boiling. It was Long Chen who had let them step onto this path. It was Long Chen who had brought them to stand at the front lines of cultivation. It was Long Chen who had changed their lives, letting them see a brand new future for themselves. Roar shook the heavens, and a berserk will soared. Gu Yang was at the front with a golden spear. HMPH. Do you think you can be arrogant when you've only just reached Meridian opening? Just die. The corrupt experts could all tell that they had only just advanced and had yet to even stabilize their realm. They couldn't help but sneer. However, that corrupt expert only got out half his sneer before Gu Yang's spear smashed him and his weapon into broken pieces. What? The corrupt experts were appalled. They were unaware that other than Long Chen and Wild, he was the one with the greatest brute strength. After undergoing complete tempering, his skeleton was like steel. Moreover, having trained in a high heaven class cultivation technique, his strength had advanced to the point that even he felt himself to be terrifying. Having smashed apart a meridian opening expert with a single attack, his blood grew even hotter, and his spear swung through the air repeatedly. Suddenly, a ray of sword key slashed down from the heavens, landing amongst the corrupt experts. Four of them were turned into a bloody mist. Yu Zifeng's comprehension of the sword Dao was growing more and more terrifying. His sword intent could shake the heavens. This was his first time using his full strength since advancing to meridian opening. Although sword cultivators were widely known to be icily arrogant, that attack had felt incredibly refreshing to him, and he began to crazily kill. Kill. Following Gu Yang and Yu Zifeng, Li Qi and Song Mingguan also roared, charging forward with the other Dragonblood warriors behind them. Even against enemies of over twice their number, the Dragonblood Legion were like tigers amongst a flock of sheep. Blood and limbs flew through the air, bloody to the pinnacle. As soon as the two sides met, over a hundred of the corrupt experts were killed. It was completely one-sided. What power? The senior apprentices really are terrifying. The monastery disciples were completely shocked. This was a scene they wouldn't be able to forget in their lifetimes. Let alone those disciples. Even Tu Fang was dumbfounded. He didn't even know when they had advanced to Meridian opening. Boss, why won't you let me go up to? I want to show off. Implored Guo Ran. Currently, all of the Dragonblood Legion had gone forward. Only Tang Wan'er, Men Qi, and Guo Ran were hanging back. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi were still at the peak of bone forging. Long Chen hadn't given them the meridian opening pills because he wanted them to stabilize their cultivation bases first. As for Guo Ran, he had long since reached the meridian opening realm, but Long Chen still kept him behind, causing him to be dissatisfied. He felt unbearably itchy. This is for them to temper themselves, but you can already just barely count as an expert. So why must you fight over meat with them? Can't you just grow up a bit? Back in the Jiuli secret realm, you were already quite the baddest. On your own, you faced thousands of enemies. What more do you want? Asked Long Chen. At the beginning, I was a baddest. 
but then later you showed off too much. You were like the rising sun, while I was turned into just a firefly. All my work was obliterated, complained Guo Ran bitterly. Fine, those old ghosts are starting to get agitated. You can go out. Long Chen saw that some of those Xi'anchen experts were already starting to charge towards Gu Yang and the others. He hastily pushed off Guo Ran. The battlefield was extremely chaotic. Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, and the others were all incomparably valiant, cutting down their enemies. In just a few breaths time, more and more corpses littered the ground, all of them from the corrupt path. If this continued, it wouldn't be long before their meridian opening experts were completely slaughtered. Gu Yang and the others were just too ruthless. Blood and flesh flew everywhere, but there wasn't the slightest hint of fear in their eyes. In fact, they became more and more excited, and along with that excitement, they grew even fiercer. Each of them was like a bloodthirsty fiend that had crawled out of hell. In front of them, the corrupt experts, widely known to be cruel and merciless, were practically tender sheep. Now, one of the Xi'anchen experts charged in and reached Gu Yang. Die, you should die instead, you old ghost. Ancestral Mark. Gu Yang roared furiously, and countless runes covered his body. He fully activated the mountain crushing body tempering art and smashed his spirit him. Boom. Gu Yang flew back, but that Xi'anchen expert's arm trembled intensely, and his staff almost blew out of his hand. He was also blown back. How is that possible? The corrupt experts were all dumbfounded. Gu Yang had clearly only just reached the early meridian opening realm. No, he couldn't even count as having reached the early stage. He had only just broken through, but he was able to fight on the same level as an early Xi'anchen expert. Bastard. Could it be that they all underwent complete tempering? Finally, there was a corrupt expert who cursed as he thought of a possibility. If they hadn't undergone complete tempering, then it was impossible for them to possess such strength. But how was it possible for over 300 people to undergo complete tempering? Everyone. Kill them all. The emaciated elder's expression finally changed. He finally realized he had been duped. But having only realized this now, almost all his disciples had been killed. You can all die. I'll let you experience just what Xi'anchen power is. A mid Xi'anchen expert roared, taking out a jagged sword. Using his Xi'anchen power, he slashed it down on the dragon blood warriors. This blade caused heaven and earth to change color, and Tu Fang's heart shook. But he saw Long Chen's expression was still calm, as if everything was still in his control. Sparks flew as a metallic hand tightly caught the blade. Chapter 529 Bloody Battle Within the Monastery Translator Born to be this is Xi'anchen power? It's not that powerful. A metallic monstrosity blocked the mid-Xi'anchen expert. Guo Ran's hand tightly clenched his blade. His golden armor was incomparably eye-catching. This was newly constructed, and it was over a hundred times stronger than his old one. It was his best masterpiece. Guo Ran turned his wrist and that blade actually snapped, shocking everyone. Trash. He threw the blade to the side and punched the Xi'anchen expert. It was unknown whether he was talking about the weapon or the wielder. That Xi'anchen expert had never seen such a metal monstrosity, and he hastily raised his severed blade to block. Boom. The ground beneath Guo Ran's feet crumbled, but the Xi'anchen expert was blown back. Senior apprentice brother Guo Ran is mighty. Seeing Guo Ran blow back a Xi'anchen expert raised the morale of all the dragon blood warriors. In his golden armor, Guo Ran truly did appear impressive. But before Guo Ran could do anything, another Xi'anchen expert charged at him with a battle hammer. Guo Ran hastily raised his arms to block. The impact of the attacker's blow caused a huge ripple which blew back all the surrounding people. HMPH, let me see how many of my attacks you can block. The corrupt elder was a brute strength fighter and this one attack made Guo Ran's body tingle all over. He didn't dare to be careless, and a golden saber appeared in his hand as he fought. The two were evenly matched. All the other Xi'anchen experts also charged their way into the midst of the Dragonblood Legion. They had already realized each of them had to have undergone complete tempering. They were far, far stronger than ordinary meridian opening experts. They definitely couldn't allow them to grow, or the corrupt path would never be able to rest peacefully. Complete tempering required piling endless resources to create a genius. Having one person undergo complete tempering could bankrupt a medium-sized sect for over 300 people to undergo it at the same time was unbelievable. Their best option was to take advantage of this time before they had matured and killed them all. Heaven's soul annihilates the void. Menki hastily formed hand seals upon seeing several Xi'anchen experts charge at the Dragonblood Legion. A bright illusory figure charged at a dozen of them. Careful. It's a soul cultivator. 
The emaciated elder standing on the pagoda let out a startled cry, but it was too late. Only two of Xianchen experts had a barrier of light appear over them to protect from Menki's attack. As for the remaining ones, they silently fell to the ground. At the same time, their spiritual fluctuations disappeared. Fuck. Kill that woman. That elder finally couldn't endure it anymore and flashed into motion, charging at Menki. Previously, when Menki had killed that Meridian opening disciple at the beginning, he hadn't been paying attention and hadn't noticed how he had died. But now that Menki had shown her skills again, he was filled with panic, and his metal cane smashed down on her with endless Xianchen power. Menki felt an arm wrap around her, and she was suddenly flying through the air. It was Long Chen who had flung her up, and at the same time, his saber slashed down. Boom. A terrifying key wave exploded, and whether it was the dragon blood warriors or the corrupt experts, they were all blown away. The surrounding buildings completely crumbled. Everyone, form into your squads and split up. Don't let a single one of our enemies escape ordered Long Chen. Following his orders, other than a few who continued to cut down the remaining few meridian opening experts, the 360 members of the Dragonblood Legion charged at the Xianchen experts. The Dragonblood warriors had already turned red-eyed. Other than Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Song Mingyuan, and Li Qi, they were all just ordinary disciples. They hadn't even had the qualifications to enter the Jiuli secret realm, but they who could only be considered as absolutely ordinary within the monasteries and supermonastery, had their fates completely changed because of one choice. They had gone from ordinary disciples to geniuses capable of slaughtering anyone in the same realm as easily as cutting through melons. Now, they were capable of battling against Xianchen experts while in the meridian opening realm. What kind of glory and pride was that? Menki and Tang Wan'er summoned their violet phoenix sparrows, flying up into the sky, looking over the entire battlefield. Long Chen had handed them the task of protecting everyone. Right now, the Dragonblood Legion could be considered a sharp blade, but they were still rough around the edges. They needed more training and sculpting. As they were only just starting out, they had to be protected so that there were no losses. Men Qi would occasionally use spiritual attacks, while Tang Wan'er had countless wind blades circulating around her, ready to take action at any moment. Although the two of them hadn't broken through to Meridian Opening, their attacks were both very special. As a soul cultivator, Menki's spiritual attacks were something that could kill even Xianchen experts if they didn't have soul items to protect themselves. Furthermore, having absorbed Long Chen's spiritual seed, her spiritual strength had grown a hundred times stronger than before. Her attacks were incredibly powerful. As for Tang Wan'er, with the assistance of the Wind Spirit Crystal, her comprehension over wind energy had undergone a heaven-toppling transformation. Her attacks were incredibly sharp, so sharp that they even shocked Long Chen. It was only because of their protection that Long Chen dared allow the Dragonblood warriors to go all out. Go die, Long Chen. The corrupt elder roared furiously, his aura erupting and causing heaven and earth to tremble. He had reached the late Xianchen realm. He was finally completely infuriated. The meridian opening disciples he had brought had been completely exterminated, and even half of the Xianchen experts had died. But Long Chen was still alive and well. That result was unacceptable. The cane in his hand suddenly blossomed with light, and countless runes appeared. A garish light lit up the void. Fuck. This old bastard is using Xianchen power to activate his Xianchen weapon. Long Chen's expression completely changed. Long Chen had also finished complete tempering, and his cultivation base had reached the twelfth vestige of bone forging. He was just a single step from meridian opening. This was the fastest he had advanced since he had started cultivating. With his current strength, he had no fear towards Xianchen experts when it came to physical strength. But if they used Xianchen power to activate a Xianchen weapon, then that power was practically apocalyptic. That power would destroy the entire monastery, and he had no confidence in being able to block it. Even if he could receive it, the others would still be blown to bits. Idiot. You don't care about the others' lives. Raged Long Chen. He. As long as you die, it's fine. For that many complete tempering disciples to accompany you, you'll definitely be happy within the Nine Springs. The elder laughed sinisterly. Hey, wait a sec. In truth, the only thing between us is some misunderstandings. There's no need to fight and kill. Long Chen suddenly forced a smile. TCH, don't bother trying to stall for time. Just die. The runes on his cane lit up even more intensely, and a terrifying pressure shot out. A scarlet light formed a resonance with heaven and earth. 
the corrupt elder had already locked Long Chen firmly in place. When the light on his cane reached a peak, he smashed it on Long Chen. Die, the one to die is you, exclaimed Long Chen. Suddenly, a golden petal pierced through his back and come out of his forehead, bringing with it a splash of blood. What's going on? The corrupt elder's cane gradually dimmed. At the same time, his spiritual strength faded. He fell to the ground, his eyes unfocused. Even in his death, he still didn't understand how he had died. I really have to thank you, Men Qi. Long Chen couldn't help muttering as he glanced up at Men Qi who was up in the sky forming hand seals. Just now, Long Chen really had begun to sweat. His power increase had clouded his mind. He might not be afraid of Xi'anchen power, and he also didn't need to be afraid of just Xi'anchen weapons. But he had forgotten one important detail. Xi'anchen weapons could only fully release their power with Xi'anchen power. If he had really allowed his attack to go through, then perhaps he could have kept himself alive, but everyone else here would have been killed. It was only thanks to Menki noticing he had been in danger. She had stealthily sent out one of the jade petals of the soul item Guo Ran had made for her. That petal was incomparably sharp, capable of cutting through metal like tofu. Long Chen had noticed that, and he had hastily drawn the corrupt elder's attention. As a result, he had been completely focused on activating his Xi'anchen weapon and hadn't noticed the fatal danger silently approaching him. For a late Xi'anchen expert to die without even knowing how was truly sad, but Long Chen wouldn't bother giving him an explanation. Brothers, put in some more effort. Once you finish killing them, we can continue drinking. Long Chen walked to the front with his saber on his shoulder. Now, whether it was the disciples or elders, they were all dumbfounded. A late Xi'anchen expert had been killed just like that? Suddenly, Long Chen's expression changed and he stamped on the ground. Jumping backward, a sword appeared out of nowhere and cut through the robes on his chest. If he had been a hair slower, that sword would have pierced his heart. After the sword appeared, a figure showed up. That figure then twisted and suddenly fled into the distance. Since you've come, then don't leave. Long Chen snorted and pointed out a finger. A bolt of lightning shot out. But he was surprised to see that the figure suddenly twisted when he attacked appearing dozens of meters away. Before Long Chen could attack again, he had already disappeared. That speed was so fast that it outraged people. Long Chen glanced towards his chest and his broken robes when his saber suddenly slashed to the side. Don't use the same move against me twice. Blood splashed, and a figure appeared out of nowhere. One that was cut in two by Long Chen's saber. Chapter 530 Drawing enemies away on his own translator. Born to be a figure appeared out of nowhere. However, that figure was cut in two by Long Chen's saber. Only now did people recover from their shock. The sudden changes just now had happened so quickly that none of them had even understood what had happened. By the time they did, it was already over. After killing that person, Long Chen took a step forward and once more slashed his saber. Sparks flew as another figure appeared and was forced back a dozen steps. His appearance was incredibly ordinary, and if he was thrown into a crowd, it would be impossible to find him. Right now, he was completely shocked. How did you notice me? His response was a bloody blade. His figure suddenly twisted, and he strangely dodged Long Chen's attack. Long Chen didn't chase. He merely raised his left hand, and a bolt of lightning shot out from his finger. At the same time as he attacked, that person's body twisted again. It was a known what movement technique he had used, but it was like he had teleported, appearing dozens of meters away in an instant but he had only just appeared there when another bolt of lightning struck him head on, instantly blowing apart his body. I've already said, don't use the same move twice in front of me. Long Chen slowly lowered his hand. Long Chen was sure these were assassins, but he was shocked to find that they were able to hide themselves in space. He had almost ended up suffering greatly. Long Chen had never imagined that assassins would be so brazen as to hide themselves in the midst of such a huge battle. If it hadn't been for Menki killing the corrupt elder, then practically no one would have survived his attack. These assassins really were madmen. For their goals, they were even able to throw away their lives. However, when that assassin's sword had silently pierced towards his chest, Long Chen had suddenly sensed the danger and retreated without even thinking about it. Then, he had immediately activated his divine sense and finally saw some small clues. These fellows had used some kind of secret art to cover themselves with a layer of mist. Mist that duplicated whatever was behind them making it seem like they had disappeared. Relying only on eyesight, it was impossible to notice them. But in front of Long Chen's divine sense, they could not hide. Furthermore, after seeing them use that mysterious footwork to dodge twice, 
he had already noticed that when they used it, their shoulders would lean in the direction they were going, revealing their next location. So the second person didn't end up as lucky as the first and was instantly killed by Long Chen. At the same time, the other battle had also ended. Half the Dragonblood Legion was wounded, but their injuries weren't heavy. Furthermore, they were all wearing excited expressions. This battle had allowed them to experience just how powerful they currently were. At the same time, it made them even more grateful to Long Chen. All this had been bestowed upon them by Long Chen. Men Qi, come over here. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er put away the Violet Phoenix Sparrows and walked over. Long Chen suddenly hugged Men Qi. Everyone was stunned. This boss of theirs really was a bit too scamp like. Men Qi was also completely red, but her expression suddenly changed. Long Chen, listen to me, said Long Chen gravely. Men Qi wanted to say more, but seeing his expression, she didn't say anything in the end and simply nodded. Right now, there are some matters I have to attend to. Goodbye. After saying that, Long Chen directly rushed away, disappearing from their sights, causing everyone to be dismayed. They all looked at Men Qi. Long Chen wants us to quickly leave the monastery and rush to the 37th monastery, borrowing their transportation formation to reach the super monastery, said Men Qi. Why? asked Gu Yang. Are you a fool? You still can't see something this obvious? Now that our monastery's transportation formation is broken, who knows whether or not the corrupt path will just send one wave of attacks? If we just wait here for assistance, then we'll be placing our fates in other people's hands. It's better for us to take the initiative to help ourselves, said Guo Ran. But then isn't the 68th monastery closer to us? Asked Gu Yang. Old Gu, you really make me worried. How do you know the corrupt path only attacked our first monastery? It's not a bad idea for them to exterminate all the surrounding monasteries in passing. If we end up going there, we'll just be throwing ourselves into their net. As for the 37th monastery, it's the furthest one. Furthermore, there are no other monasteries on the way, so it's the best option for us. Wait, why didn't boss come with us? Guo Ran's expression suddenly changed. Everyone looked towards Men Qi. Gu Yang asked, Senior Apprentice Sister Men Qi, just what is boss doing? Men Qi's expression was somewhat pained, and she shook her head. You're all warriors of the Dragonblood Legion, while Long Chen is the highest commander of the Dragonblood Legion. You should understand what orders are. Right now, everyone just needs to focus on moving out to the 37th monastery. Remember, these are Long Chen's orders, so don't question them. Hearing that, their hearts sank. Even if Men Qi didn't say it directly, they could guess what was happening. Everyone from the Dragonblood Legion, gather up. What happened to that confidence you had back when you were cutting down your enemies? Who do you think our boss is? If you have time to be nervous for him, you should focus more on being nervous about yourselves and hurry up, shouted Guo Ran. That made all of them much more relieved. Who was Long Chen? He was someone who created miracles. Nothing would happen to him. Men Qi, our storehouses, asked Tu Fang. Elder Tu Fang, as long as we have our lives, we can have anything. Don't be so begrudging. Guo Ran hastily pulled over Tu Fang to leave directly. There was no time to care about anything in the storehouses. They were fleeing from calamity, not moving houses. Just a moment after all of them left, one man and one woman appeared in the monastery. They were Yun Wusheng and Yun King. It ended this quickly. Yun King was surprised. They had rushed over when they had sensed the disturbance. From that time, only an incense stick's worth of time had passed. But the battle was already over. The ground was littered with the corpses of corrupt experts. The majority of them went that way. Let's chase. Yun King pointed in the direction Tu Fang and the others had gone. Wait a moment. Yun Wusheng closed his eyes and silently sensed for a while. And then he sneered. He actually intentionally set them up to go in that direction. While he fled in the other direction. He, if I ended up falling for that, then I wouldn't be Yun Wusheng. It's this direction. Let's go. Yin Wusheng directly rushed in the direction Long Chen had gone. He was incredibly fast, like a bolt of lightning, and even Yun King was unable to keep up. Long Chen continued rushing the entire time, pushing the netherworld ghost steps to the peak, the wind whistling around him. It was definitely Yun Wusheng. Other than him, no one could give me that kind of feeling. Within the monastery, Long Chen had suddenly felt an intense sensation of danger. Ever since he had started cultivating the Nine Star Hegemon body art, his spiritual perception had grown increasingly sharper. If anyone released killing intent on him, he would be able to sense it from a long distance. Back then, he had felt that the killing intent was a bit familiar. 
and he had immediately thought of Yun Wusheng. If it had just been corrupt experts, Long Chen wouldn't be afraid. The worst case was an all-out fight. But the righteous path's experts were much more terrifying than the corrupt path. If he was entangled by Yun Wusheng, it would be extremely troublesome. With Yun Wusheng's temperament, he would definitely not just kill him, but kill everyone to keep them silent. That was also why Long Chen had chosen to split off from everyone. He trusted that with how sinister Yun Wusheng was, he could easily sense he had gone in another direction. At that time, he would definitely choose to chase him down. Long Chen recalled Xu Wuhan's words that he shouldn't fight Yun Wusheng because he was a terrifying celestial. Although he was only the weakest first rank, he definitely wasn't someone he could handle. Furthermore, the sensation of danger he had felt just now had made his scalp numb. That meant Yun Wusheng definitely had the ability to kill him. Long Chen pushed his speed to his peak, practically leaping from mountain peak to mountain peak. However, he felt the sensation of danger behind him growing increasingly intense. After rushing for six hours, he didn't even know how far he had fled. But now he finally saw Yun Wusheng a thousand miles away from him. Yun Wusheng was smiling sinisterly, and his speed was shocking. No matter how long Chen tried to flee, the distance between them only shrunk. You can't run, sneered Yun Wusheng. Long Chen didn't reply and simply continued running. Right now, Yun Wusheng was on his own, but he knew it was likely that Yun King was behind him. It was just that she was too slow and hadn't appeared yet. He already had no assurance in being able to beat Yun Wusheng. If Yun King suddenly joined in their fight midway, then he really would die for sure. So right now, he fled as far as he could. The further he got, the more advantageous it would be for him. Seeing that Long Chen still hadn't given up and was still fleeing, Yun Wusheng ridiculed. Long Chen, back in the monastery, didn't you say some grand words? Something about how if I dared target you, you would exterminate my entire Yun family? Now, I'm not only going to target you, but I'm also going to tear you apart piece by piece. If you have any courage, then don't flee like a little rabbit. Yun Wusheng's speed didn't drop at all as he spoke. Long Chen continued to flee as fast as he could, only stopping after two more hours. The instant he paused, a saber appeared in his hands, releasing a bloody light as it slashed down on Yun Wusheng. Chapter 531 The Power of Lightning Rushing Translator Born to be Bang Yun Wusheng's fist smashed into Long Chen's saber. Long Chen was shocked to find that Yun Wusheng was able to block him with just a single fist. At the same time, a powerful force drove him back three steps before he could stabilize. Now let me see where you plan on running. Yun Wusheng sneered, like a hunter looking at a rabbit with nowhere else to go. His gaze was filled with ridicule. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Yun Wusheng was even more terrifying than he had imagined. A random blow of his fist was able to block his saber. That hadn't been because of a cultivation technique or battle skill, but seemingly from some sort of strange energy. I really like your current expression. Where did that grandness from when you said you'd exterminate my family go? Asked Yun Wusheng. He wasn't in a hurry. In his eyes, Long Chen was a fish caught in his net and couldn't run. I already said the enmity between us is over. Do you really want to restart it? Asked Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. Ah. Long Chen. You really are young. I feel sorrow for your stupidity. Who do you think you are? In front of an ancient family, you are just an ant. If it wasn't for the support of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, you would have long since been crushed. For you to say such nonsense, you really overestimate yourself. Did you think you could keep living after provoking an ancient family's prestige? You're wrong, and very much so. If you hadn't insulted my Yun family, you wouldn't even have the qualifications to be killed by me. Yun Wusheng suddenly raised his head and laughed disdainfully. It was clearly your family's disciple that tried to kill me. Was I supposed to not resist? To just allow Yun Wusheng to kill me? Asked Long Chen. Of course. This is the cultivation world's iron law. The strong are respected. Although Yun Wusheng wasn't strong herself, she had a powerful family, and that is also a part of her strength. To be able to reincarnate within an ancient family is also a kind of strength. As for you, a lowly commoner with no background, no matter how high your talent is, it's useless. In this world, there are many talented people. However, they all die prematurely. Why is that? That's because they reincarnated in the wrong body, without a powerful family or sect to protect you. Geniuses are only there to be killed. Now you should understand, being lowborn isn't a mistake, but appearing in front of a highborn person is a grave mistake. The price of making this mistake will be your life. The only result in accordance with the rules of this world is that you will die. 
After you're dead, remember, if you want to become an expert, reincarnate into a power like my ancient family, said Yun Wusheng. Reincarnate? I really am not good at that. It seems I'm only skilled at sending other people off to reincarnate. Long Chen shook his head. Ha ha ha. Even now you're in the mood to joke. That just proves your stupidity has already surpassed my imagination. But that's also good. Try to keep that mood. I want to see if you can still joke once I rip your heart out of your chest, said Yun Wusheng sinisterly. Long Chen smiled and rested his saber on his shoulder. Then we'll have to see if you have that ability. I know you should have the power to fight Xi'anchen experts. However, it seems you don't know. In this world, cultivation base is not the only way to judge a person's combat abilities. Just like how you could easily kill Han Xi'an Ayu, I can also easily kill Xi'anchen experts. If you treat me as an ordinary meridian opening expert, you have committed an extremely grave mistake, said Yun Wusheng. Then let me experience just how strong you are. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him. The red and orange light spun in opposite directions, and endless energy poured into Long Chen. Now he was truly using the divine ring's power. The energy within him was like angry waves, causing heaven and earth to rumble. In the face of an enemy as powerful as Yun Wusheng, he had no room to hold back. As expected, you really were concealing your strength. Not bad, not bad, but it's not enough. Yin Wusheng was slightly surprised, but he still shook his head. Whether or not it's enough is something we'll only know after trying. Long Chen took the initiative, charging forward and mercilessly slashing down with his saber. Even without trying it, I know you are nothing in front of me. Yin Wusheng sneered and punched another fist to meet Long Chen's saber. But this time, his fist was covered with runes. Boom. Astral winds erupted, and the ground crumbled like a frozen lake that had been smashed by a meteorite. Long Chen's arm trembled intensely, and he was shocked to see that Yun Wusheng hadn't budged in the slightest. Furthermore, the ground around him was strangely completely fine. This attack's not bad. Even ordinary Xi'anchen experts who activated their Xi'anchen power might not possess such power. Most surprising of all, you rely only on physical strength. I really want to know just what cultivation technique you train in for your physical body to reach such an abnormal level. Yun Wusheng's eyes shone as he looked at Long Chen. As the junior master of the Yun family, he was extremely experienced. He had seen countless geniuses, but he had never seen someone with a physical body as abnormal as Long Chen. Just his physical body was able to fight against Xi'anchen powers. Yun Wusheng felt an intense desire to learn Long Chen's secrets. He suddenly leaped into action. Taking away the initiative and not giving Long Chen a chance to do anything. Long Chen was surprised, but his movements didn't slow and he once more slashed his saber. Yun Wusheng's fist suddenly turned into a claw, and he caught his saber with a single hand. Even with Long Chen's reactions, he was still caught off guard and couldn't pull back his saber. At the same time, Yun Wusheng's other hand stabbed towards Long Chen's abdomen. His hand was like a blade, and it was covered in complicated lines. Even before his attack reached him, Long Chen was suppressed by the wind, feeling that it was hard to breathe. He couldn't help being shocked by Yun Wusheng's powerful battle skill. He was able to change attacks incredibly quickly, and he was definitely the most terrifying opponent he had met up until now. Yun Wusheng was smiling coldly. With his saber caught, Long Chen was powerless to resist. Right now, he could only give up on his saber and fall back. But once he lost his weapon, he would be like a tiger that had lost its fangs. However, he was surprised to see that Long Chen's expression was still calm, and he actually also sent out a palm to meet his hand, clearly attempting a head-on clash. Stupid. Yin Wusheng sneered. He had bitterly trained in his family's seven disappearing cloud hand, which had been his family's strongest battle skill for countless years. After training in it for so long, he had already reached the third level of mastery in it, and that allowed him to grab Xi'anchen weapons with his bare hands. If Long Chen dared face him like this, then he would be instantly blown to bits. But just as Long Chen's palm was about to collide with his hand, his palm became covered with thunder force, and a crackling sound filled the air. What? Boom. The ground beneath their feet exploded, and the two of them blew back. The lightning rushing hand really is powerful. Long Chen was delighted inside. This mid-heaven class battle skill truly was powerful. His saber had been unable to do anything to Yun Wusheng, but this palm had forced him back. Previously, Yin Wusheng had intentionally humiliated and looked down on him, not budging at all in the face of his saber. Even the ground beneath his feet hadn't twitched. I didn't expect you to have such a trick. Really not bad. Yin Wusheng shook out his hand that was slightly numb. More importantly, 
A trace of Long Chen's thunder force had ended up invading his body, making him feel like his insides had been struck by a hammer. That startled him, as this was his first time encountering such powerful thunder force. I don't have just one trick. Long Chen snorted, and his saber began to rumble. It was suddenly completely covered in thunder force and once more slashing at him. Yin Wusheng's expression changed ever so slightly. He hadn't expected Long Chen's thunder force to be condensed enough to be able to cover his weapon. Ordinary lightning cultivators used their lightning blades as weapons. Those lightning blades were condensed from their spiritual key, and while they were powerful, they had stability issues. They were easily broken by experts. But transmitting thunder force into a weapon was also no good. If they did, that would end up consuming a great deal of energy, and the thunder force would still be greatly weakened in the process. But Long Chen had still done it that way, and his goal was obvious. He was attempting to use his thunder force to negate the advantage Yun Wusheng had with his seven disappearing cloud hand. He had no hopes that his thunder force could kill him, but his thunder force could invade through the smallest opening, and it could definitely cause some trouble for him. Boom. Yin Wusheng blocked Long Chen's saber with a fist, but this time, he didn't have it as easy as last time, and was forced back several steps. Obviously, blocking both Long Chen and his thunder force caused him to lose some of his advantages. Die. Long Chen roared, and a wave of light erupted from his saber, attacking Yun Wusheng. Chapter 532 Bloodline Suppression Translator Born to be Long Chen roared, and his saber began to release a tide of red light, the light crashing down upon Yun Wusheng. HMPH, just an insignificant trick, it still won't let you escape your fate of being killed by me. Yun Wusheng snorted, and his eyes suddenly began to glow. Countless runes lit up over his hands as he charged at Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen's saber was blown back by Yun Wusheng, and taking advantage of the opening, he smashed his other hand at Long Chen. But what was different from last time was that Yun Wusheng was already prepared for Long Chen's thunder force. Long Chen's gaze was icy. Yun Wusheng was clearly trying to force him into a head-on exchange. He was most likely dissatisfied with their previous exchange. Thinking of that, he was filled with battle intent. Since he wanted to try him, then he might as well help him out. He wanted to see just who was stronger in terms of power. When he reached that point in his thoughts, he decided to put away his saber. Because Yun Wusheng was empty-handed and Long Chen was unable to increase the distance between them, his long weapon would only hinder him. He fully activated his thunder force, and lightning runes instantly covered his hands. A crackling sound filled the air. Boom. Long Chen's fist smashed onto Yun Wusheng's fist. This one collision caused an immense explosion, and light pierced through the void. Both Long Chen and Yun Wusheng shook. Neither of them had had any advantage in that exchange and they were both forced back several meters. Your thunder force is strange. It's not the power of ordinary lightning. Yun Wusheng was surprised. Just now, he hadn't held back. Although it had looked like they were even, he had had to circulate a spiritual key to eradicate the thunder force invading his body. That thunder force was too terrifying, and it was actually able to ignore the defenses of his physical body. If his spiritual key wasn't so strong, he wouldn't be able to block it. As the Yun family's junior master, Yun Wusheng had vast battle experience with countless geniuses, but he had never encountered such odd thunder force. Does saying that have any meaning? Asked Long Chen icily. His expression was still flat, but inside, he was incredibly shocked. From appearances, it seemed Yun Wusheng was not a brute strength kind of cultivator, but his full strength attack had only resulted in a draw. Even in front of Xi'anshan powerhouses, Long Chen had yet to release such power. Just what on earth were celestials? How could they be so terrifying? He finally understood why Xu Wuhan had repeatedly warned him not to vainly think of battling across realms with celestials. That truly was simply looking to die. But right now, the two of them were like water and fire, and there was no leeway. Only one of them could leave here alive. Ha ha ha, Long Chen. Could it be that you think just this little bit of power is enough to defeat your aim? You're too immature. Today, I'll let you see just what it means to come from an ancient family. In front of I, Yin Wusheng, your pathetic pride isn't worth a damn. Yin Wusheng smiled with ridicule, and then an odd character suddenly appeared on his forehead. When he saw that character, Long Chen cried out inside, Immortal character. Although his understanding of immortal characters was limited to what Yu Ziaokian had translated from the ethereal crafting secret record, this character had been included in it. That was the Yun character. Could it be that the ancient families had all descended from the immortal era? Otherwise, how could he condense an immortal character like this? Furthermore, on his forehead, 
that immortal character was not just a character, but a powerful rune. Long Chen could sense Yun Wusheng's blood beginning to rapidly circulate, and the sound of a river flowing filled the air. He was shocked to see that without doing anything, the ground beneath Yun Wusheng's feet began to collapse. It was unable to even endure his terrifying aura. That Yun character on Yun Wusheng's forehead gradually grew brighter, emitting an ancient aura. Back in the Jiuli secret realm, Yun Wusheng had also activated her bloodline pressure to suppress him. But now that Yun Wusheng had summoned out the immortal character, the pressure was over a thousand times greater than Yun Wusheng's. Long Chen felt his own blood was starting to still, as if it was freezing. This is the suppression of an ancient family bloodline. Long Chen was appalled. He thought back to how in the monastery, a gaze from Yun Wusheng could make a person's blood rapidly flow, so fast that there was danger of a body explosion. Now he finally realized why the ancient families were so arrogant. Their bloodline suppression truly made them superior to others. Ordinary cultivators wouldn't even have the strength to resist in front of them. Ancient families' members could crush their opponents by relying on just their bloodline suppression. Light erupted from the character on Yun Wusheng's forehead, as well as the rest of his body. With the support of that character, he appeared like a grand emperor looking down on Long Chen. Now you should understand just how laughable your thinking was, correct? In front of an ancient bloodline, you lowborn cultivators are just leftovers. As leftovers, you should just listen to the arrangement of the heavens and not resist. You should never have resisted back when Yun Wushuang wanted to kill you. If you had died back then, it would have been a blessing for you. But now, you've insulted my ancient family, and your death will no longer be the end of it. Not only will you die, but everyone by your side will die as well. Any of those ants who helped you resist my ancient family will be torn apart piece by piece. That's just the will of the heavens. The dignity of the strong cannot be touched by the weak. Now you should understand how foolish the mistake you made was. However, there's one thing you should feel relieved about. I'll definitely let off those girlfriends of yours. Once they reach the Xianchen realm, I'll take them in as my concubines. You can contentedly die. Long Chen's eyes narrowed, and he suddenly smiled oddly, his gaze icy. Are you sure you'll kill me today? You won't be killed by me instead. I'm sure. Yin Wusheng laughed. Your confidence has no basis. I can tell you that not only will you not manage to kill me, you will very likely be killed by me. Most importantly, you've made one huge mistake. Remember my words. Your Yun family will be destroyed because of what you said today. Yin Wusheng laughed, but his laugh was filled with killing intent. He really hadn't expected Long Chen to still be able to say such brazen things at this time. It was completely different from the expression of terror and despair he had expected. That made him slightly angry. He, a grand celestial, should never have even come here, let alone attacked someone whose realm was lower than his own. He had his own pride, but in front of Long Chen who was even more arrogant than he was, he raged. Then there's no need to waste any more words. I accept that you really are stupid. I'll end your life for you. Yin Wusheng began to slowly walk towards Long Chen, and with each step he took, the ground trembled and the void rumbled. A terrifying aura locked Long Chen down. Long Chen felt as if his blood was about to solidify. An ancient bloodline was truly terrifying. His intuition had definitely been correct. Compared to the Xianchen experts from the corrupt path, Yun Wusheng was much more terrifying. If Long Chen hadn't chosen to leave on his own to draw Yun Wusheng away, then if Yun Wusheng had activated his bloodline's power amongst the monastery's members, it was unknown just how many disciples would have instantly exploded. Even the Dragonblood warriors might not necessarily be able to resist it. That was a scene Long Chen didn't want to see. Rumbling came from his body as he activated the Nine Star Hegemon body art. His blood returned to normal. Good. The Nine Star Hegemon body art really never disappoints me. Long Chen smiled, and he was filled with confidence. His heaven-defying cultivation technique had always been his greatest support up until now. Although his spirit blood had been stolen and he didn't know what was with his bloodline exactly, it was still impossible for anyone to suppress him when he had the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Oh? You erased the bloodline suppression. Yin Wusheng sensed the change instantly, and he was slightly startled. Hehe, he, as expected, you really do have many secrets. Excellent. Starting today, those secrets will be mine. Greed filled Yun Wusheng's eyes. The reason he had lowered his dignity to target Long Chen wasn't at all because of Yun Wushuang. Reclaiming the dignity of his ancient family was just an excuse. The Yun family had millions of disciples, and experts were commonplace. If they had really wanted to reclaim their prestige, they wouldn't have sent their junior master. 
After Long Chen had left the secret realm, his cultivation base and power had explosively grown, and many people connected that to the mysterious beauty had merged with. Yin Wusheng had come here entirely for Long Chen's secrets. Now, Long Chen's trump cards were appearing one after another, causing a burning passion to fill Yin Wusheng. He hadn't felt reassured enough to send anyone else to attack Long Chen, which was the only reason he had personally come. Die. Yin Wusheng suddenly roared, and his aura erupted like a volcano. A palm shot forward, sealing any escape paths. Chapter 533 Cry of the Heavenly Deos Translator Born to be Yin Wusheng's palm was incredibly powerful. So powerful that space was unable to contain it and began to buzz, seeming on the verge of collapse. Long Chen instantly sensed just how terrifying this palm was. This power was not the power that came directly from Yun Wusheng. This power was similar to how Gu Yang could activate his ancestral blood to draw out a kind of sleeping energy within his blood. However, Yun Wusheng's power was far more terrifying. Not only was his attack incredibly terrifying, but he was also incredibly sinister, using his higher realm to lock Long Chen in place and forcing him to face him head on. His goal was obvious. He wanted to cripple Long Chen and then interrogate him, or perhaps go through his memories. His goal was his secrets. After thinking through all of that, Long Chen didn't hesitate any longer. He closed his eyes, and his Feng Fu star and Aliyah star both hastily circulated, pouring energy into the primal chaos bead. His body shook slightly, and primal chaos aura surged out of him. Two star battle armor. When he once more opened his eyes, two stars were slowly revolving in his eyes. After summoning the two-star battle armor, he felt as if his entire body was filled with a violent energy. In fact, he felt as if that energy would cause him to explode if he didn't quickly use it. This was his first time entering his strongest combat state since reaching bone forging. In the face of Yun Wusheng's palm, he sent out a fist. The instant that palm and fist collided, the void blew up and an immense key wave roared. Runes erupted, thunder rumbled, and a terrifying power blew a hole in the ground a hundred miles long. Dust filled the air. Impossible. Yin Wusheng finally was truly startled. He didn't dare believe Long Chen could receive his attacks once he had activated his ancient bloodline. But the most shocking thing to him was that Long Chen's fist had shaken his insides, making him feel like a mountain had smashed him. It had to be known that he was a celestial, a peak heavenly genius. Battling across realms was effortless for him. With his strength, under the precondition that no one activated a Xi'anchen weapon with Xi'anchen power then he could sweep through the Xi'anchen realm. However, he had never imagined a bone-forging brat would be able to block him. Given that he was a celestial, he had also been given the resources to undergo complete tempering. But even with his power, even with his activated ancient bloodline, he was only able to force a draw. That result was completely unacceptable to him. As for Long Chen, he didn't have it any better. His arm was slightly numb while his blood surged within him. He couldn't help feeling horrified at how powerful Celestials were. He had already summoned his two-star battle armor, which caused his strength to erupt to a practically dreadful level. But he was still unable to suppress Yun Wusheng in terms of physical strength. This was his first time encountering such a powerful opponent. But from Yun Wusheng's startled expression, he knew that he didn't have it any better. When it came to not displaying his expressions all the time, Long Chen was very pleased with his abilities. But Yun Wusheng didn't have that ability, and his thoughts were seen through by Long Chen instantly. On the other hand, Long Chen's expression was calm and icy, and it was impossible to see through his thoughts just by looking at him. This was a mental kind of warfare. Sometimes psychological warfare was the grandest battle tactic. If two people's strengths were equal, then the person more likely to win was the one with a steadier heart. Long Chen didn't let Yun Wusheng's shock go to waste, and he silently kicked his foot at his crotch. However, it went without saying that Yun Wusheng was truly powerful, and he also had plentiful combat experience. He sensed Long Chen's kick immediately, and he increased the power in his palm, forcing Long Chen back a step to make his kick miss, while his other hand reached for his ankle. This change in moves happened incomparably quickly, and even Long Chen had no choice but to admit that Yun Wusheng was not the same as those greenhouse flowers he had known. He was truly an expert who had killed his way to his current point. Yin Wusheng caught Long Chen's ankle and delighted. He was just about to increase his strength when Long Chen suddenly jumped from the ground like a frog. He heard the wind whistling in his ears as Long Chen's other foot came crashing towards his head. Yin Wusheng was startled. Long Chen had intentionally let him catch his ankle so his other foot could injure him. Furthermore, his control and timing were perfect. 
It was just the moment when Yun Wusheng had started to gather power but had yet to release it if this kick landed on his head. Then with Long Chen's power, his head would definitely explode. Furthermore, he had no guarantee that a single hand would be able to block it. So for safety, he had no choice but to let go of Long Chen's ankle and raise both his hands to block. Bang! Long Chen's strike was surprisingly powerful, and although he managed to block it, he was sent flying, his legs digging a long ditch in the ground. You want to help me put on my shoes? You're not worthy. After taking the advantage, Long Chen didn't give him any time to breathe, and he flashed into action, his fists pummeling down on him, lightning crackling over his hands. Yin Wusheng hadn't steadied himself yet, and under Long Chen's torrent of attacks, he was constantly forced back. The thing that made him almost cough up blood was how Long Chen had said he was helping him put on his shoes because he had caught his ankle. Who on earth had the qualifications to have him, the grand junior master of an ancient family, help put on their shoes? Die, Yin Wusheng roared, and after dozens of exchanges, he finally managed to get out of his inferior position, crazily attacking with his palms. You're the one who will die, you broken down, you broken down shoe carrier. Long Chen almost slipped narrowly avoiding saying that the shoes Yun Wusheng was helping him put on were broken down, that would have ended up including himself in the curse. Long Chen, you really piss me off. Yun Wusheng's expression was incredibly dark, and icy killing intent overflowed from his eyes. You think I care? Long Chen's reply was icy, but he was growing more and more wary. Yun Wusheng was much stronger than he had expected, and one mistake could result in eternal death. Originally, I was unwilling to use this move to kill you but as a price for infuriating me, I've decided to use it. Yin Wusheng suddenly pushed Long Chen back and an immense pillar of light soared into the sky. Rumble. The world trembled as a terrifying heavenly might slowly rose. Long Chen's expression changed and he looked at the sky in bewilderment. Above Yin Wusheng, countless runes were surging out of the void, bringing with them endless pressure. Those runes were transparent and numbered in the tens of thousands. They filled the space around Yun Wusheng for a mile noveloon.com it was like a sea made of runes. While Yun Wusheng was the core of that sea, his black hair danced, and his eyes were electric. His aura was becoming more and more horrifying. The greatest impact to Long Chen was that at this moment, it felt as if heaven and earth were showing concern for Yun Wusheng, blessing him with some kind of energy. Yun Wusheng icily stared at Long Chen from within that sea of runes. In truth, I had many different ways to kill you but killing you like that is of no interest. So to congratulate you, I'll display my greatest strength, letting you see what a true power difference is, and teaching you what despair is. Even Xi'anshan experts are just ants in front of the current me. This is what it means to be a celestial, to be protected by heaven and earth. This phenomenon you see around me is called the cry of the heavenly deos. The current me is a divine emissary of the heavenly deos. I represent the will of the world. Tell me. Just how do you plan to fight with me? Yin Wusheng's words were like hammers striking into Long Chen's heart. He could feel that the sea of runes truly possessed the will of the world. That will was something Long Chen hated to the extreme. That will had tried to kill him not just one time. Now feeling that will again. Long Chen's killing intent sword. What will I use to fight you? Do I need anything to handle you? Is the will of the heavens so amazing? A divine emissary? More like a divine piece of crap. Don't act so high and supreme in front of me. The heavenly deos are just farts. And I'll beat that fart out of you right now. Long Chen had originally been very icy and calm. But for some unknown reason, when the will of the heavens appeared now, he became berserk as if he suddenly could not live under the same sky as Yun Wusheng and his heavens. And he charged forward at Yun Wusheng. Yun Wusheng sneered. That smile filled with disdain and ridicule. And he randomly waved his hand. Boom. Long Chen's body trembled and he vomited a mouthful of blood, flying back, HMPH, now do you understand, Yin Wusheng sneered at a stunned Long Chen, this is the energy of the heavenly deos, as a celestial, I am a favorite of the heavens, and I am destined for greatness, I can borrow the power of the heavenly deos to use for my own, even Xi'anshan experts can be killed in an instant by the current me, in the future, when the top heavenly geniuses struggle for dominance, that stage will be reserved for celestials, while you are just an ant who will never be able to step onto that sacred land. Now you should understand the difference between us. Long Chen wiped off the blood from his mouth. That previous exchange had injured him. The heavenly Deo energy contained in that attack had been unblockable. Most hateful of all, the will of the heavens was constantly targeting him. And when his attacks landed on Yun Wusheng, those runes would lessen his power by 80%. 
On the other hand, Yin Wusheng's attacks had become several times stronger, and a random blow from him was able to injure him. This was definitely an unfair battle. Even the heavens were helping Yin Wusheng to cheat. The nonsense ends here. Now, I'll take your life. Yin Wusheng charged at Long Chen. Chapter 534 Wind Flame Attack Translator Born to be Yin Wusheng was wrapped around by countless runes, and his aura was boundless. With each one of his movements, the world echoed with him, increasing his power. Our celestial so amazing, Long Chen sneered. At the same time, he was filled with fury. Anyone would be infuriated at being rejected by the world. That was especially true when facing an enemy that would be aided by the world to kill him. If there comes a day when my cultivation base reaches that level, I will definitely overturn this idiot world. Long Chen clenched his teeth. The lightning serpent tattoo on his arm suddenly dimmed. A violet lightning spear appeared in his hand. As soon as that spear appeared, a terrifying destructive aura spread. This was a spirit weapon he had condensed from all his thunder force. At this point, Long Chen could only go all out. Yin Wusheng merely smiled slightly and punched out. Bang. The instant his fist collided with Long Chen's spear, his smile vanished, turning into shock. A terrifying energy directly forced him back. The power of the heavenly deos. Impossible. How could you have heavenly deo energy? Raged Yin Wusheng. Yin Wusheng was being supported by the will of the world, and he had merged with some of the energy of the heavenly deos. Beneath the Xi'anshan realm, no one could block him. Only sea expansion experts who were able to use magical arts were able to break through the support of the will of the heavens. That was also why Yun Wusheng said that Xi'anshan experts were just ants in front of him. Heavenly Deo energy was something that could only be resisted by heavenly Deo energy. Other energies were just dregs in front of it. That was also why, despite being the Yun family's junior master, he dared to go out without any guards. He had that confidence. As expected. My thunder force is also a kind of will of the heavens since it comes from heavenly punishment. Excellent, thought Long Chen. His lightning spear was like a viper, piercing through the void to attack Yun Wusheng. Boom. The area around them was blown into ruins. The two were both blown back, and Yun Wusheng was completely shocked. But his shock quickly disappeared to be replaced with disdain, and he shook his head. Although I don't know how you obtained that thunder force, it seems your thunder force has a limit to it. It isn't able to threaten me at all. Death will still be your final ending. He had noticed that after two attacks, Long Chen's lightning spear had dimmed slightly. Although it wasn't very obvious, it wasn't able to escape Yun Wusheng's sharp eyesight. Long Chen couldn't help grumbling inside. His thunder force was comparable to this heavenly Dao energy, but his thunder force was limited, and there was no way for it to be replenished as quickly as his spiritual key. Although his spiritual key could transform into thunder force. That process was extremely slow, and it was unable to keep up with the battle on this level. Having seen through his weak point, Yin Wusheng sneered and attacked Long Chen. Long Chen could only passively defend, stalling for time as he frantically tried to think of something. Shu Wuhan had been entirely correct. Battling across realms against celestials was just looking to die. Furthermore, Long Chen could tell that even now, Yin Wusheng had not used his full strength. He was most likely not lying when he said he had many ways to kill him, but he wanted to suppress him with absolute power, so he didn't use any of his ultimate moves. His goal was very obvious. He was after Long Chen's secrets, and he wanted to subdue him and then examine his memories. Of course, after that, Long Chen would still definitely die. Right now, he had to think of a way to get out of this certain death match. Sky Moon Breaking Palm. Just as Long Chen was thinking while fighting, Yin Wusheng suddenly shouted and his palm was like a blade that slashed apart the void. Long Chen was startled, as this was clearly a heaven-class battle skill. He raised his lightning spear to block it without hesitation. Crap. However, he immediately realized his mistake. Yin Wusheng's palm landed right on the midpoint of the spear, its weakest point. After fighting for this long, the lightning spear had already dimmed a great deal. It was now unable to endure such power, and it instantly exploded. After destroying his spear, Yin Wusheng's palm didn't stop, slamming into Long Chen's chest. Long Chen's ribs broke, and he vomited blood as he flew back. Boom. But the same time as Long Chen was blown back, a huge flame sphere shot out from his hand and smashed onto Yin Wusheng. Before Yin Wusheng could react, the flame sphere exploded, devouring him. Space trembled as the flames were isolated by some kind of energy and then dissipated, revealing Yin Wusheng who was surrounded by runes. HMPH. I've long since heard you've subdued an earth flame. Do you think I wouldn't be on guard? However, 
This earth flame really is weak. It's quite disappointing, said Yun Wusheng. The flames Long Chen had condensed had been easily isolated by his runes. It was much weaker than he had expected, and it was unable to injure him. The earth flame was something he had been on guard against this entire time, or he would have long since captured Long Chen. Bang! Long Chen smashed onto the ground, forming a large hole in the ground. Long Chen lay there motionlessly, looking at him. Yin Wusheng sneered. You want to play dead? Just now, I didn't use enough power to take your life. But Long Chen still didn't move. He just lay there. After waiting for several breaths, Yin Wusheng finally became impatient and icily said, Since you like playing dead, then I'll help you out. He started walking over, but he had only taken two steps when Long Chen stood up, and his pupil shrank. Long Chen was smiling coldly. Within his hands was a foot long sphere of blue flames. That flame sphere twisted the space around it, and there was a berserk flame energy within it. You acted dead to condense this flame sphere. Yin Wusheng's expression was dark. Previously, Long Chen's hands had been stuck in the ground. He had actually been duped. HMPH. So what? It's just a final death struggle. I want to try it. Long Chen smiled coldly and flew the flame sphere forward. It instantly grew, reaching a size of 300 meters. However, Yin Wusheng found it curious why the flame sphere wasn't moving very fast. He didn't immediately do anything because he wanted to see what Long Chen was planning. He had already examined this flame, and he could tell it was unable to do anything to him. As that flame sphere advanced, Yin Wusheng suddenly noticed a scarlet flame snow wolf had appeared beside Long Chen, and it opened its mouth and shot out a sphere of wind blades. That sphere was like a shooting star charging towards the flame sphere. When the two collided, the wind sphere devoured the flame sphere, and then like a volcano exploding, like a monster awakening, like a shooting star, it crashed ferociously at Yin Wusheng. What kind of technique is this? Even Yun Wusheng now felt slightly numb, his hair standing on end. A sensation of death filled him. That was something he had never felt before. Seeing this huge meteorite-like attack shooting at him, he knew he had no time to dodge. Ancient bloodline divine shield. Countless blood-colored runes appeared in front of Yun Wusheng, forming layers of defenses. Boom. The instant the sphere collided with those defenses, an immense explosion of wind blades and raging flames rocked the world. Little Snow, returned to the spiritual space. Long Chen immediately recalled Little Snow and summoned out an earth flame armor. He had only just finished this when a terrifying wave of wind and flames devoured him. With wind and flame superimposed, everything within hundreds of miles was blown apart. The ground around them was instantly turned to charcoal novaloon.com at the center of an immense pit. Yin Wusheng stood up and coughed up blood. His entire body was chaired black and his cry of the heavenly deus manifestation had disappeared. If he hadn't been cautious and used his greatest defensive ability, he would have been instantly killed by that attack. Suddenly, the ground split open, and an azure scale shot out. A terrifying pressure descended upon the world, one that would make all life forms quiver. What? Yin Wusheng was appalled. The pressure from that scale actually gave him an urge to kneel in reverence. The will coming from it was one that looked down on all things, one that mankind couldn't block. Without even thinking about it, Yin Wusheng hastily crushed a talisman, and a barrier of light covered him. That barrier was incredibly bright and twisted the space around it, but that barrier hadn't been of any use in front of the scale, and it was directly pierced through. The incomparably sharp scale directly severed Yin Wusheng at the waist. Chapter 535 Failure in the End Translator Born to be blood splashed as the azure dragon scale pierced through the barrier and cut Yin Wusheng in two at the waist. The ground split open and Long Chen also dug his way out of the ground. His expression was extremely pale, and his aura was chaotic. Because he had been too close, he had ended up being injured by his own attack. Although he had his earth flame armor to protect himself and had dug his way deep into the ground, he was still heavily injured. That attack's power was just too dreadful. Even with how powerful his physical body was, cracks had appeared on his body. He had to hastily use the primal chaos space's life energy to heal. But he was a bit depressed because as his cultivation base increased, the amount of life energy the trees in the space could provide him became increasingly smaller in comparison to how much he needed. The whole forest of trees withered, but it only slightly suppressed his injuries. That didn't mean that the life energy in the trees was weak, but simply that Long Chen's physical body was too abnormally powerful. It required incredibly vast amounts of life energy for him to recover from underground. He had been paying attention to Yun Wusheng's condition, and seeing him vomit blood, he had hastily taken out the dragon scale, 
sending it to sneak attack him. At first, he had been truly amazed by Yun Wusheng's senses and reaction speed, but then he was delighted to see the dragon scale ignore the talisman's defenses and directly cut him in two. You didn't die, Long Chen. Yin Wusheng was shocked and infuriated to see Long Chen now. I've already said that the one to die today will be you. Long Chen returned the dragon scale inside his body. His aura was chaotic, as his spiritual key had been exhausted too quickly. Resisting the energy of the heavenly deos was too taxing. Just now, he had used almost all his energy to defend against his own attack. Now seeing Yun Wusheng's bisected body lying on the ground, he took out his saber and rushed forward. Now was his best opportunity. HMPH, you want to kill me, Yin Wusheng? Keep dreaming. Heavenly Dao recovery. Suddenly, runes appeared around him again, and they stuck to his two body parts and surprisingly rejoined them. What? Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. After rejoining his body parts, those runes then merged into his injury. Yin Wusheng actually managed to stand up. I admit I was careless, but if you think just this is enough to kill a celestial, then you really must be dreaming. Yin Wusheng icily glared at Long Chen. The heavenly Dao recovery was a secret art, and it exhausted a great deal of a celestial's core energy. Although it had practically instantly rejoined his body, for a short time, he wouldn't have the energy to activate the cry of the heavenly Daos again. In his eyes, killing Long Chen had just been a game, but now that the game had been played to this point, the one to lose miserably had actually been him. His fury soared. You can just directly die. Yin Wusheng roared and an ancient, brightly colored sword appeared in his hand. As soon as that sword appeared, the entire world became ice cold. Aurora slash, a ray of light soared into the sky, and then terrifying sword light slashed down on Long Chen. Another heaven class battle skill. Long Chen was shocked inside. Yin Wusheng's cultivation base was truly terrifying. He actually still had spiritual key to use heaven class battle skills. Buzz. Long Chen clasped his hands in front of him and the dragon scale once more appeared, hastily growing larger to block his sword light. Boom. The dragon scale was unable to endure Yun Wusheng's attack and was sent flying. That wasn't because the dragon scale wasn't strong enough, but because Long Chen didn't have sufficient spiritual key to use it. Furthermore, his goal wasn't to attack with the dragon scale, but for it to block this one attack. Although Yun Wusheng managed to send the dragon scale flying, he was also knocked back several steps by the power behind the dragon scale. At the same time, he felt a burst of pain from his waist. The injury that had just healed began to bleed. Although he had used a secret art to fuse back together, that kind of fusion was temporary and would require a while to completely heal. This knockback ended up causing the injury to split open again. Split the heavens. Just at this moment, a blood red saber slashed down from the sky. A saber image hundreds of meters long slashed down like a divine blade cutting apart the river of stars. How is that possible? How do you still have the energy to use a heaven class battle skill? Roared Yun Wusheng. He had the support of the cry of the heavenly deos. And borrowing the power of the heavenly deos, he depleted his spiritual key extremely slowly. Even after this immense battle, he still had 10% of his spiritual key left to fight. But the fact that Long Chen could still use such a terrifying attack shocked him. This was simply impossible. How could someone at Bone Forging possess such vast spiritual key? But seeing the saber key crashing down on him, he also sensed an incredibly powerful aura shake the very world. That was something that was only possible if it was a heaven class battle skill. Sword rain seals the mountain. Yin Wushan roared furiously, pushing out his remaining spiritual key. Sword images filled the sky, superimposing upon each other to appear like a sword mountain. Boom. But the sword mountain collapsed, and Yun Wushan flew back, vomiting blood. Long Chen's saber had contained an undefeatable will that filled him with dread. Suddenly, an earth-shaking roar rang out as little snow appeared by Long Chen's side. Opening his mouth, a sphere of wind blades shot out, smashing into Yun Wushan. That sphere contained countless tiny wind blades that were like revolving razors, cutting through Yun Wushan's body. However, although Yun Wushan's body was practically cut into mincemeat, it went without saying that Celestials were truly too powerful. Despite being so injured, it still wasn't fatal. Long Chen was just about to have Little Snow attack again when he felt the world spinning around him, and he almost instantly fainted. At the same time, he felt a sense of danger in his heart, and he hastily jumped onto Little Snow's back and grabbed onto his fur quick. Run. After saying that, he couldn't hold on any longer and directly fainted. Little Snow quickly rushed away, disappearing in an instant. 
Little Snow had only just left when a figure appeared like a bolt of lightning. It was Yun King, who had already reached the peak of the Xianchen realm. Originally, Yun King had followed Yun Wusheng as he had chased after Long Chen, but because Long Chen and Yun Wusheng were too fast, she had ended up being thrown into the distance. After all, she wasn't a sea expansion expert who could activate wings to fly. Yun Wusheng had left her marks as he had rushed along so that it was easier for her to chase after him. Then, after chasing for so long, she had suddenly felt the ground shaking and two terrifying auras surging. What made her appalled was that while one aura was Yun Wusheng's, the other one was also incomparably dreadful, capable of even causing her to feel intimidated. Since Yun Wusheng had been chasing after Long Chen, it seemed obvious that it was Long Chen's aura, but she couldn't believe that Long Chen's aura would be so terrifying. Now that she had finally arrived at the battlefield, she was completely dumbfounded. Everything within hundreds of miles had been turned into a barren land, and a terrifying pressure still lingered. Furthermore, she just managed to see Little Snow's figure rushing away, but he was too fast, and he had disappeared before she could clearly see anything. Junior Master, Yun King suddenly let out a startled cry as she finally saw Yun Wusheng lying on the ground, seeming to be on his last breaths. His entire figure had changed after being cut by countless wind blades. He was like a lump of meat now. If it wasn't for his aura, she wouldn't have been able to recognize him. Yun King was scared almost witless. It was only after a long moment of shock that she took out a quick-acting medicinal pill and searched for his mouth within the mass of his injuries. Quick. Activate. The temporary transportation. Formation. Summon. The families. Experts. To chase Long Chen. Yun Wusheng recovered a slight amount of energy from the medicinal pill and hastily spoke. Yun King was completely shocked. He was telling her that his injuries were because of Long Chen. She hastily took out eight one-foot-long jade plates, setting them up in a specific formation. Using her Xianchen spiritual key, she activated the runes on the jade. The eight jade plates runes activated at the same time, shooting out eight rays of light that superimposed in the sky, forming a spatial gate. Over ten figures instantly appeared from the spatial gate. They were all Xianchen experts wearing blue robes. When they saw Yun Wusheng, who no longer even appeared human, they were all completely appalled. Junior Master, Celestials were definitely monsters. After a short time, Yun Wusheng recovered enough energy to say, Long Chen ran in that direction. All of you go after him. He's already heavily injured and on the verge of death. You must bring him back to me. It would be best for him to be alive. And if you manage to accomplish this, I will definitely give you all great rewards. Yes, those Xianchen experts bowed to Yun Wusheng and then rushed off in the direction he had indicated. Junior Master, you. Yun Wusheng waved his hand and sighed. I just underestimated him. If I had treated him like a real opponent from the start, do you think he could run? I didn't expect him to have so many trump cards, and his strength far surpassed my expectations. This is my first time suffering such a loss. Junior Master, the transportation formation is still present. I can send you back to heal, said Yun King worriedly. No, I'll heal right here. My injuries aren't actually severe. I can recover in just three days. Right now, Long Chen already has such power at the bone forging realm. He definitely has some shocking secrets. If I can obtain them, I'll definitely soar in an instant. When the time comes, I'll be able to go to the Eastern Wastelands Immemorial Pathway to compete with the geniuses of a thousand prefectures. Just keep watch over me. I need to recover as fast as possible. I must capture Long Chen. His treasures can only belong to me. After saying that, Yin Wusheng sat there and began to focus on healing. The battle today had caused him to start feeling uneasy and even a trace of fear. Thinking back to what Long Chen had said, he felt a chill. If he allowed Long Chen to mature, the Yun family would be in danger. He had to quickly have him killed. Chapter 536 Frantically rushing the whole way translator. Born to be Long Chen didn't know how long he had been unconscious for. He felt like he was floating in the clouds. And the only thing he could do was stubbornly keep hold of Little Snow's fur when he finally opened his eyes. He saw a barren desert before him. His whole body ached. And his bones felt like they might fall apart. He hastily consumed a healing pill. As the medicinal energy gradually spread, the pain faded, but his physical body had reached a monstrous level now and healing pills were having less and less effect on his body. Little Snow, how long have we been running? A -o -wu, a day and a night. Long Chen was startled, not expecting that he had been unconscious for so long. After thinking about it for a minute, 
He supposed that it had to do with that damnable cry of the heavenly deos. It had been especially taxing to fight Yun Wusheng when he had activated that ability. Furthermore, with his current physical body's natural recovery abilities, a day and a night was enough for him to heal slightly even without medicinal pills. However, it was as if some mysterious energy was inhibiting his recovery, which made him furious. These damnable heavenly deos, they always have to target me. Just wait. Just thinking of his fight with Yun Wusheng made him furious. That cry of the heavenly deos was definitely bullying. No, it was practically cheating. 80% of the power in his attacks was blocked by the heavenly deo runes, but Yun Wusheng's attacks multiplied in power. This was his first time experiencing such a sullen fight. What a freak. Long Chen spat in hate. But if others were to hear that, they would definitely curse him to death. Just who was the freak? Celestials were termed the favorites of heaven and earth, the heavenly geniuses of the world. Karmic luck blessed them, and fighting across realms was as easy as having a meal to them. In this world, it was practically unheard of for someone to fight across realms against a celestial. If Long Chen's battle accomplishments ended up becoming public, it would definitely shake the entire cultivation world. Not only was Long Chen able to battle across realms against a celestial, but he had almost killed one. If a celestial was a freak, then Long Chen was a freak amongst freaks. It could be said that this battle counted as a victory, but he knew that his win was only because of luck. Yin Wusheng was definitely feeling irritated now. His defeat Ring had been entirely because of his conceit. Long Chen was sure he had even more powerful techniques, but he hadn't used them. In the beginning, when Yin Wusheng had been shocked by his abilities, he mostly felt that it was a blow to his dignity and had wanted to use the grandest method to crush him to regain his honor. That was a celestial's pride and arrogance. But for that pride, Yin Wusheng had ended up paying a harsh price. If he had treated Long Chen seriously, then Long Chen would never have had a chance to release his combination wind flame attack with Little Snow. That attack's power had already surpassed the level of a heaven class battle skill, as the flame energy did not come from a beast flame, but an earth flame. If Long Chen had not held back a portion of its energy, Yin Wusheng would have been turned to ashes by the attack. But in that scenario, he himself wouldn't have been able to block it, and he would also have been incinerated. The fact that Yun Wusheng had spent an ocean's worth of spiritual ki to activate his ancient blood divine shield and still almost been killed was enough to prove how terrifying that attack was. It was only because of this that Yun Wusheng had run out of spiritual ki and been injured. After that, he was unable to use any of his more powerful techniques and thus was almost killed. It could be said that Long Chen's victory had been extremely lucky. That allowed him to see just how terrifying celestials were. Little Snow spit out a wind blade to cut a ditch in the ground. Opening his mouth, a wind blade shot out of it, creating a hundred mile gorge that was several meters deep and wide. Long Chen then had Little Snow run within that gorge. The terrain here was a desert, and the ground was very soft, but there was very little wind here to cover up tracks. By cutting open this gorge, his footprints would be hidden as the sand flowed back in. The next thing he had Little Snow do was spit out multiple wind blades from one location, creating multiple paths that would mislead any trackers. Furthermore, within the desert, everything blended together. They would only be able to tell the path was wrong when it was just a few dozen miles from ending. Now, any trackers would have to split up and wait to reconvene before they could continue chasing. There was no solution to this game. They would have to split up, leaving behind perhaps one person to wait for them back at the center. That one person wouldn't have to play the game. After fleeing for half a day, Long Chen didn't even know how many of those split up points he had set up, but he estimated it would have to be numbered in the hundreds. Little Snow's wind blades were perfect weapons for cutting open gorges, and it basically cost him no time to set them up. He was very worried about pursuers. Although he hadn't interacted with Yun Wusheng much, he knew Yun Wusheng was actually quite capable and sinister. He was also smart and wouldn't give up such a good chance to kill him. After having Little Snow set up another branching point, Long Chen took out over 10 spheres from the primal chaos space. Those spheres were all around a foot in diameter, and there were dozens of small openings on them, each hole revealing a sharp arrow that gave off a chilling light. These were Guo Ran's inventions. He remembered that Guo Ran had given them some sort of name, but by now he had forgotten. When he had first seen these things, he had jumped in fright. These were basically bombs. Not only were the arrows backed by extremely powerful springs that gave them a shocking penetrative power, but when they were activated, it would also cause the energy at the core of the bomb to explode. The metal casing would transform into jagged pieces that would fly out in every direction. 
a second wave of destruction. Even with Long Chen's daring, he still had to handle these things carefully, afraid of triggering them accidentally, burying them in the ground just deep enough to not be noticed but not deep enough to weaken them. He took out several thin strands of black silk and connected all their trigger mechanisms together. Anyone who walked within this 3-meter area would end up activating the triggers. He had already calculated the position. This place was just outside the gorge, so that when any pursuers left the gorge, they would unconsciously slow down to take a look around, and a single step in this place would trigger the bombs. Long Chen gave the trap a quick once-over and confirmed there were no mistakes. Then, jumping over the minefield, Long Chen continued fleeing. There was a large mountain range ahead. After traveling another two hours in the mountains, Long Chen swung out his saber, and saw Bear Key directly cut off a mountain several miles high. Get in here. Long Chen waved his hand, directly absorbing the mountain into the primal chaos space. As soon as it entered, the countless trees and vegetation on it withered, and a vast amount of life energy poured into him. With that nourishment, he felt his wound slowly healing. This time, his injuries were not the same as before. There was a suppression caused by the laws of the heavenly deos which made his injuries much harder to heal. That was also why Long Chen hated the heavenly deos so much. Throwing out the withered mountain, Long Chen continued onward, absorbing more mountains in the primal chaos space. Right now, the primal chaos space was only 30 miles wide and couldn't store mountains that were any bigger. He could only go slowly. He was like a thirsty person who had to drink his water drop by drop. But although each drop was small, it could still accumulate to a shocking amount. Nice. These trees are bigger. As he rushed forward, he saw that the trees were getting even taller, and the largest tree he saw was at least a mile high. The crown of the tree was enormous, covering several miles, looking like a giant standing amongst men. Those ordinary trees were less than half its height. Long Chen was delighted to find this tree, as larger trees were able to supply him with more life energy. He hastily began to excavate it. It took him an incense stick's worth of time to dig the tree out and transplant it into the primal chaos space. What vast life energy, circulating the primal chaos bead. The life energy within the trees spread throughout his body, causing his injuries to heal at a speed visible to the naked eye. Excellent. Even the wounds of the heavenly deos can be healed with enough life energy. As long as I find some more trees as big as this one, I won't need to fear celestials. Long Chen noticed that this particular huge tree was able to supply him with as much energy as all the other trees combined. However, this time, he didn't absorb all its life energy. Once the tree leaves began to show signs of withering, he stopped. He needed to keep such huge trees. What pleasantly surprised him was that after this absorption, his injuries had at least healed by 20%, and he had recovered some ability to fight. Oh, there's another one here. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. After a while, he found seven huge trees, and after absorbing their energy, his injuries had almost healed to 80%, that made him much more at ease. Strength was always the greatest guarantee of life. Suddenly, Long Chen's heart shook, and he looked behind and smiled. He sensed a sensation of danger that was slowly approaching. As expected, Yin Wusheng really was unwilling to give up. Chapter 537 Sharp Weapon Translator born to be over 10 blue-robed experts were following a deep gorge in the sand. Right now, they were incredibly furious. They were Xi'anshan experts from the Yun family. They had received orders from Yun Wusheng to chase after Long Chen. After chasing him to this desert, they saw the gifts Long Chen had prepared for them. After going down hundreds of different paths, they were fuming in anger, but they were also helpless. Each time they encountered those intersections, they could only split up and go to the end. One of those paths had to be the right one. As for those on the right path, they had no choice but to slow down and wait for the others to loop back, or they would run out of people in just a few more intersections. Amongst them were three late Xi'anshan experts, but all of their abilities were useless here. They could only obediently walk down each path, wasting their precious time. When they finally arrived at the final intersection and saw that the path led them to a thick forest, they couldn't help celebrating. They had finally escaped this damnable maze. Without even thinking about it, they increased their speed to leave the gorge. The elder at the front slowed down to examine the distant terrain, wanting to figure out in which direction Long Chen had fled. Boom. Continuous explosions rang out from beneath them. Arrows filled the air, and countless jagged pieces of metal flew, creating a net of death in the air. Everything had happened too quickly, and they had been too close. By the time they reacted, those terrifying arrows and jagged pieces of metal had already reached them. 
The sound of blades piercing through flesh rang out along with miserable screams. These Xi'anchen experts normally lived an easy, comfortable life, and they had long since lost their sense of danger. Not one of them had been circulating their Xi'anchen power. Before they could do anything, merciless blades pierced through their bodies. Over ten Xi'anchen experts were instantly turned into mincemeat. Damn, Guo Ran's invention is this vicious. Over a hundred miles away at up a high mountain, Long Chen stood on a large tree, peeking through the leaves. He managed to see everything clearly. Long Chen had already sensed a strong hostility coming for him from a thousand miles away. He had long since found a good place to watch the show. But seeing over ten Xi'anchen experts be completely exterminated, even he was dumbfounded. Fuck, if I had known it would be like this, I would have kept half. Long Chen slapped himself on the leg, vexed. Previously, he hadn't thought this trap would have such a great effect. He had underestimated the power of Guo Ran's invention. At the same time, he had also overestimated his enemy's intelligence. If a Xi'anchen expert didn't circulate their Xi'anchen power, their physical bodies alone were unable to block such an attack. Thinking of that, Long Chen felt great regret. He actually hadn't calculated in his opponent's intelligence, wasting such good things. Looking at those broken corpses in the distance, Long Chen hesitated for a moment and then shook his head, deciding not to go pick up any spoils. Although there were probably quite a few good things in their spatial rings, it wasn't worth him taking the risk. Just like that, he sat on the large tree and began circulating the primal chaos bead to nourish the huge trees inside. There were seven immense trees he had planted on the edge of the space, and then taking their size into account, Long Chen had also planted those tree seeds into the ground. Those seeds were already starting to germinate. In addition to those seven original trees, the primal chaos space now had 36 trees that could grow to immense heights. These trees were not medicinal ingredients, and Long Chen didn't even know what they were called. 29 saplings were rapidly growing within the primal chaos space. Following the circulation of his two stars, the primal chaos space also circulated. After two hours, those seven original trees had already recovered from their slightly withered state. As for the saplings, they had also grown to a height of several dozen meters. Each trunk would require three to four people to wrap around. This growth rate truly made a person speechless. Oh, there are more people already. Long Chen was in the midst of recovering his spiritual key when he sensed something and hastily looked into the distance. He saw dozens of people had appeared around the trap he had set up. Their robes were different from the people at the beginning. The elder at the front was gravely examining the scene, his expression completely shocked. Damn, they really are worthy of being an ancient family. For me, they actually sent out this many Xi'anchen experts. Long Chen sneered. It seemed Yun Wusheng treated him as a must-have. He had actually sent out this many people. Some of these people had truly powerful auras and killing intent. With a glance, it was obvious they were real experts who had experienced countless trials and bloody battles. They were completely different from those idiots from before. What Long Chen didn't know was that Yun Wusheng had still not been at ease. Taking advantage of the spatial gate still being open, he had used his status as the junior master to set a portion of the Yun family's elites into motion. Those previous people had just been the Yun family's ordinary guards. Yun Wusheng didn't have much confidence in them. Taking advantage of those people being busy investigating the aftermath of his trap, Long Chen stealthily descended from the tree and slipped away. No matter how brazen he was, he wouldn't dare fight with so many people. Moreover, those people were true experts. Practically, each one of them was holding a Xi'anchen weapon. Once they fought and activated those weapons with Xi'anchen power, he would be doomed. Let alone Long Chen, even Yun Wusheng, a celestial, someone who could treat Xi'anchen experts as ants, would not dare do such a thing. However, that was under the precondition that Xi'anchen experts did not activate their Xi'anchen weapons. A Xi'anchen weapon was a Xi'anchen expert's strongest killing tool, and they would not use it easily. Activating a Xi'anchen weapon would immediately draw out all their Xi'anchen power. If they were unable to kill their opponent with that attack, then they would have no more energy to resist. Now with this many opponents present, if any random one of them activated their Xi'anchen weapon, Long Chen would probably die. He wasn't that stupid. Slipping away was the way of the king. Within the forest, Long Chen became even more confident. Back when he had been chased down by Marquis Ying, he had also taken advantage of the forest to contend with him for a long time. So he actually liked thick forests very much. Long Chen was extremely quick as he traveled through the forest. He made sure to leave behind as few tracks as possible. 
even closing his pores as to not leave behind any scent. After half a day, he was no longer able to sense any danger. In other words, his enemies had been thrown off far into the distance. With the day darkening, Long Chen jumped onto a large tree, creating a small nest in the crown for himself. Just like that, he began urging on the primal chaos beat again. Furthermore, now he felt safer, and he even summoned the divine ring. Heaven and Earth's energy poured into him crazily, causing the primal chaos space to circulate even faster. Those sprouts were rapidly growing at a speed visible to the naked eye. Long Chen found that the divine ring was extremely mysterious and that there were two ways of circulating it. Circulating it one way was his battle state, allowing his strength to erupt and absorbing spiritual key for him to use. Circulating it the other way was a cultivation state. It absorbed spiritual key to nourish the core of the two stars, pushing the stars towards perfection. He also noticed that after obtaining the primal chaos bead, his Feng Fu star and Aliyah star had changed slightly, but as for what that change exactly was, he was unable to say. It was like the primal chaos bead was the central star, while the Feng Fu star and Aliyah star were complementary stars that revolved around it. It was extremely mysterious. Long Chen was starting to understand the nine star hegemon body art and the primal chaos bead less and less. Back in the Jiuli secret realm when he had merged with the primal chaos bead, he had clearly sensed a great deal of information flooding into his head. But after that information had entered, it had been like snowflakes falling in an ocean, completely disappearing. No matter how he searched through his memories, he was unable to find that information. There was only one thing he was sure of. The nine star hegemon body arts power surpassed his imagination. At the same time, he felt as if he had descended into some kind of huge game. When he thought of those strange murals he had seen, as well as that mysterious voice, Long Chen felt a bit restless, but at the same time, he felt a kind of indescribable excitement. He knew the nine star hegemon body art could lead him to an unimaginable world. The goal of martial cultivation was to stand at the peak of the martial path. All cultivators longed to reach that point, and even if they weren't able to stand there, they would still hope to see a vaster sky before them. That was especially true once a person reached the Xi'anchen realm. Then, their longevity would grow to a thousand years. The higher the realm, the higher the longevity. At the same time, those that managed to reach higher cultivation heights were also more captivated by cultivation, and they longed even more to see a vaster sky. For that dream, Many people had fallen on the path of cultivation, but each one of those fallen people's dreams had been to take a look at that vaster sky. Even if that cost them their lives, they wouldn't mind. Long Chen also had the heart of an expert. Furthermore, he also longed to know the secrets of his origin. He needed to get stronger at all cost. So no matter what secrets were hidden in the nine-star hegemon body art, he couldn't stop cultivating it. It was his only path. Without the nine-star hegemon body art, he would have already died within the imperial capital. It could be said that the nine-star hegemon body art had given him his life, and he needed to have full confidence in it. The divine ring behind him disappeared and he slowly opened his eyes. The day had just begun to lighten. He smiled in satisfaction. After a night's work, those sprouts had grown to a height of 1500 meters, which was half the height of the fully matured trees. These trees would become his greatest guarantee in the future. Furthermore, outside of these trees, he had also obtained over 170 kilin fruits and 400 meridian opening spirit cliff fruits. That was because the other medicinal ingredients would also mature along with the primal chaos space's circulation. This night's work had been equivalent to centuries of growth. Just as Long Chen was delighted by his harvests, his expression suddenly changed and he looked into the distance. Chapter 538 Heavenly Tribulation Descends Again Translator Born to be this is Yun Wusheng's aura. Long Chen's expression changed, as he sensed a powerful killing intent that was very familiar. How did he find me so quickly? Long Chen couldn't help being startled. He had left behind countless misleading paths behind him. Even if there were people chasing after him, it should have taken them several days. But in just one night, Yun Wusheng was already close enough for him to sense. Based on his feeling of danger, the two of them were definitely not that far apart. I can't fight him in my current state. Time to slip away. Long Chen began rushing through the mountain forests. Although he had confidence in himself, in front of a celestial, he could only run right now. Unless he managed to advance to meridian opening, he didn't have the ability to fight him. Furthermore, with Yun Wusheng's ridiculous cry of the heavenly deos, he still wouldn't have a chance of beating him. 
Of course, if he could just condense the third star, the life fate star, and bring out the three star battle armor, then he would be able to resist at least a portion of the heavenly deos energy. When he had fought with Yun Wusheng, he had noticed that the two star battle armor was able to resist the heavenly deos energy slightly. He finally understood why the heavenly deos would reject him. The power of the nine stars clashed with this world's heavenly deos. They were like water and fire. However, his current nine stars energy was too weak and was not enough to resist the heavenly deos. Unfortunately, right now, the only thing he knew about the third star was its name and that it would be located at the center of his right foot. The pill formula for it had yet to appear in his mind, and so he was unable to even refine the life fate pills, let alone condense the star. Something's wrong. I'm going in such a winding path, but they're still getting closer. Long Chen's expression turned slightly darker. After rushing as fast as he could, he realized the sensation of danger wasn't fading but growing stronger instead. In other words, Yin Wusheng was quickly approaching. I know, it has to be from the heavenly Dao's injuries. Long Chen suddenly stopped. After recovering to 80%, he had focused completely on urging on the primal chaos bead so that the trees would grow. He hadn't completely healed himself. Thinking of a certain possibility, he hastily urged on the primal chaos space. 36 immense trees had their life energy extracted for his use. In just a few breaths time, the injuries on Long Chen's body completely recovered as the remaining will of the heavenly deos on his body was erased. Long Chen smiled mischievously and then disappeared from his current location. Yun Wusheng had been leading the Yun family's elite experts through a thick forest. Every so often, he would pause and sense for something before continuing. But this time when he stopped, his expression became shocked, as he realized he could no longer sense Long Chen's position. Bastard, how is that possible? Yun Wusheng couldn't help raging. After being injured by the heavenly deos, their will had remained on Long Chen's body. As a celestial, Yun Wusheng was capable of using his sharp senses to locate him. That was also why Yun Wusheng had refused to leave. After his injuries had recovered enough, he had immediately begun chasing. Now that the sensation of the heavenly deos had disappeared out of nowhere, he was startled and infuriated. There were only two possibilities. One was that Long Chen was dead, perhaps eaten by a magical beast. Then, with his soul dissipating, the will of the heavenly deos would have nothing to adhere to and would also fade. The other possibility was that Long Chen had somehow managed to erase the will of the heavenly deos on his body and completely recover. With Yun Wusheng's understanding of Long Chen, he didn't believe Long Chen would die so easily. The odds of the second possibility were extremely high. In his fury, Yun Wusheng smashed apart a large tree in front of him, startling all those elites behind him. They didn't dare utter a sound as they trembled. They knew that Yun Wusheng was on the verge of going berserk. Even in this kind of situation, Long Chen had still managed to escape. That made Yun Wusheng feel like he might explode. This was the first time he felt so stifled. However, even if he was unwilling, he wasn't a fool. He knew that with Long Chen's sly nature, catching up to him within this thick forest was like searching for a needle in a haystack. Junior Master, what should we do now? Seeing that no one else dared say anything, Yun King opened her mouth. Yun Wusheng's expression was frighteningly dark, but as the Yun family's junior master, he still had to be extremely steady. He quickly calmed himself down and thought about it. It's indisputable that Long Chen has already managed to escape. We should go back. At the same time, alert the spies we have in the secular world. I want to find out everything about Long Chen, including his origin and what family he has. Junior master, that's a grave taboo, cried a late Xi'anchen elder. The cultivation world's iron rule was that the path of cultivation was a struggle for experts. But this bloody struggle could not be permitted to reach the ordinary mortals. If anyone decided to take out their anger on a cultivator's family, that would be an immense taboo. If the expert's family were also cultivators, then that would be alright. But if they weren't, then whoever attacked them would become targeted by the entire cultivation world. There were countless records of this happening, and those violators had all been exterminated. Immense existences like the Yun family were also amongst them. Idiot. I just said investigate not target them. I just want to know Long Chen's origins. Understand, raged Yun Wusheng. Yes, this subordinate knows his mistake. The elder hastily bowed. Let's go. Yun Wusheng brought them all out of the forest. After a full three days, Long Chen managed to get out of the forest. He had no idea just how far he had gone, but a grassland now appeared before him. The forest had been very oppressive, as there was no sunlight. In fact, 
He couldn't even see the sky. Now that he suddenly saw the vast sky again, he couldn't help but sigh, his mood immediately elevating. He finally felt that the sensation of danger had completely disappeared. He had finally regained his freedom. He, Yin family, right? Let me just investigate where your old rat's nest is. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. He was prepared to undergo the same scene as what had happened in the Wind Spirit Pavilion. Fuck, what's going on? But Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. Just now, the sky had been completely empty with nary a cloud. The blue sky had been incredibly refreshing. But without realizing it, the entire sky had darkened. Damn it, you just couldn't wait a while. Long Chen suddenly stood up and cursed at the sky. He now realized he was unable to accomplish this plan. The heavenly tribulation was about to descend right now, and it was even more terrifying than last time. Back when he had been in the monastery, after he had finished undergoing complete tempering, his spiritual key had almost reached a certain limit. Now, the continuous battles, especially the battle with Yun Wusheng, had silently pushed him through an opening in the next barrier. At this time, before Long Chen even went to attack the barrier, the barrier had already become weak. Unconsciously, he had pierced through it, drawing on heavenly tribulation, that startled and infuriated Long Chen. This was definitely bullying. He had just been thinking of using this heavenly tribulation to get revenge on the Yun family. Were the heavens protecting their celestial? Thunder clouds condensed up in the sky. The entire world darkened as endless lightning appeared in the boundless clouds. A terrifying pressure descended. The entire sky seemed to become an inverted vortex. While Long Chen was like an ant on the bottom, when those surging thunder clouds suddenly stopped moving, the entire world trembled and rain of lightning descended. Wherever the lightning touched the ground, the ground would crumble. Under the bath of lightning, Long Chen's eyes shone like the stars, and his black hair flew in the wind. A berserk aura soared out of him to face the heavenly tribulation. He didn't seem the slightest bit afraid. Come, let me see how you try and exterminate me. The response to Long Chen's goading was an even stronger tempest of lightning, but Long Chen simply allowed that lightning to land on his body. The lightning snake tattoo on his left arm lit up and began to crazily devour the thunder force invading his body. It was like a starving magical beast that finally saw food. Long Chen knew that each time, the first wave of lightning was the weakest. He had to take advantage of that chance to absorb more thunder force. Later when the lightning grew stronger and more berserk, it would be impossible to absorb and he could only resist it. But even this gentlest lightning was enough to easily exterminate Xi'anchen experts. That was because for ordinary cultivators, their first lightning tribulation would come when they advanced to the Xi'anchen realm. They would use the heavenly tribulation as a baptism to expel impurities from their body and then transform their Haoshan Qi to Xi'anchen Qi. For those ordinary cultivators, their Xi'anchen heavenly tribulation would only be 10% destructive. The other 90% of it was life energy used to cleanse them. If you were unable to even withstand that 10% of destructive will, then that meant you were truly trash and you were just a waste of this world's energy. But Long Chen's tribulations were completely destructive in nature without the slightest bit of life energy. That was why those Xi'anchen experts from the Wind Spirit Pavilion were only able to endure for a few breaths time. Standing on the ground, Long Chen was doing his best to absorb as much thunder force as he could. His entire skeleton was currently shining, emitting a powerful pressure. He was borrowing this thunder force to once more temper his bones, allowing his skeleton to reach a flawless level. After all, just using medicinal pills to temper the bones was unable to make them reach the level of perfection. Medicinal pills contained quite a bit of pill toxins which would hide within the bones. Long Chen was borrowing the heavenly tribulation's berserk energy to expel those pill toxins. If it wasn't for this heavenly tribulation, Long Chen would require a long time to expel those pill toxins. This saved him at least several months of work. As time passed, the lightning became thicker, stronger, and more terrifying. However, Long Chen was still focused on absorbing it. Now that he had undergone complete tempering, he didn't fear this level of lightning. On the other hand, the lightning serpent tattoo on his arm was growing increasingly bright. Boom. Suddenly, the void shook intensely, and the rain of lightning disappeared. The thunder clouds parted and nine 300 meter lightning serpents appeared. Chapter 539 Lightning Monster Translator Born to be when the nine 300 meter lightning pythons bore their way out of the clouds. All of heaven and earth seemed to freeze. The nine pythons were like living creatures, and they emitted a roar before charging at Long Chen. The world rumbled and Long Chen felt all his hair stand on end. 
These nine pythons were too terrifying. A lightning spear appeared in his hand, and he directly charged at the closest python. Boom. Lightning erupted, the light completely blinding. Long Chen was blown back, but the lightning python was also forced back. However, the other lightning pythons now swarmed over him. Long Chen roared and began a fierce fight with them, repeatedly brandishing his lightning spear. Explosions echoed out continuously, and lightning flashed in waves. The incredible rumbling sounded like the end of the world was coming. Those lightning pythons were shockingly powerful. Each one of their blows was capable of obliterating mountains. The only thing that gladdened Long Chen was that his own thunder force wasn't any weaker. They came from the same source, and so he was barely able to resist. Being swarmed by nine lightning pythons, his lightning spear rapidly swung through the air, forcing them away. Long Chen smashed two of them away when another one struck him in the back with its tail. His clothes immediately exploded and a bloody line appeared on his back. He was alarmed to find that these lightning pythons almost seemed to be alive, and they were extremely difficult to deal with. Boom. Being surrounded by nine of them, he couldn't avoid being struck again. Divine Ring. With a roar. A powerful aura soared out of Long Chen. An aura that pierced straight through the tribulation clouds. With the support of his Divine Ring, his strength soared. He ruthlessly smashed his spear forward. Boom. A lightning python was actually blown in two. After being destroyed, it actually transformed into a sky full of lightning runes. Without waiting for Long Chen to do anything, the lightning serpent tattoo on his arm lit up and actually left his arm, charging at those runes. The lightning serpent began to crazily devour those runes as if they were a feast. In just a moment's work, the half a foot long serpent grew to double its size, and it was still devouring more. Right now, Long Chen had no time to deal with what was happening with the lightning serpent. He had to focus completely on the lightning pythons. Boom. Another lightning python was pierced apart, turning into lightning runes. With the support of his divine ring, Long Chen felt as if he was no longer being completely suppressed by the heavenly deos. He finally had a slight amount of power to resist. It wasn't like before when he was constantly beaten. When he reached that point in his thoughts, Long Chen suddenly raised his head and roared at the heavens, fully releasing the fury in his heart. The spear in his hand began to attack even more crazily. Those previously incomparably terrifying lightning pythons were now unable to pose any threat to him, and they were blown apart one by one. Bang. Suddenly, Long Chen's arm shook intensely, and his ki and blood surged within him, shocking him out of his fury. He suddenly laughed involuntarily. The nine lightning pythons had already been destroyed. Just now, he had accidentally struck his own lightning serpent. Right now, the lightning serpent had already grown to a length of 30 meters. He had accidentally assumed it was an enemy just now. That was equivalent to striking himself. Right now, the lightning serpent was still frantically devouring all the lightning runes. When they were all consumed, it returned to Long Chen's arm, becoming a simple tattoo again. When it returned to his arm, Long Chen's entire body trembled because he sensed the berserk thunder force in his arm had multiplied by dozens of times. The lightning spear in his hand suddenly blossomed with light as endless lightning runes poured into it. With the increase in thunder force, even the lightning spears condensed from it are this terrifying. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. Rumble. Suddenly, heaven and earth trembled. Long Chen staggered on the ground, hastily looking up. The thousands of miles of clouds were suddenly rapidly compressing into a single point. Is this the final attack? Then let me see just how powerful you are. Long Chen pointed his lightning spear up at the sky. He knew that the final attack of the heavenly tribulation was always the most terrifying. However, the lightning serpent on his arm seemed to understand his thoughts. It consumed those lightning runes to strengthen itself and give Long Chen even stronger thunder force, increasing his confidence. Buzz. The void was trembling as the black clouds in the sky continuously compressed. In the end, it formed a 300 meter black ball. That black ball was pulsing like a heart, and with each contraction, the world quivered with it. Long Chen's heart sank because he sensed a terrifying aura growing within that black ball. That feeling made him numb. Suddenly, the tribulation clouds in the sky disappeared, and the sky returned to a sunny state. That kind of weather was something that would normally make a person extremely content. But within the cloudless sky, there was a black sphere that was still compressing. A powerful aura coming from the sphere made it hard for him to even breathe. Suddenly, a light cracking sound rang out. Long Chen tightened his grip on his spear. Boom. The black sphere suddenly exploded, and a light more blinding than the sun lit up the world. A bizarre monster had appeared. 
As soon as it appeared, it rushed straight at Long Chen, a large claw smashing into him. Long Chen had long since been prepared, and he raised his spear to block. However, the ground beneath his feet erupted, and he shot back like a cannonball, cutting a long ditch in the ground dozens of miles long. He hastily stabilized himself and then vomited a mouthful of blood. There were broken bits of his organs inside it. The berserk thunder force had badly damaged his inner organs with just one attack. Although he had the lightning serpent and it had instantly devoured the thunder force attacking him, that power had already surpassed the limits of the lightning serpent. Long Chen was horrified. Looking ahead, he saw some sort of lightning monster. It had a tail sticking up on its back that made it look like a scorpion. But instead of pincers, it had two huge claws. He had never seen such a monster. Although its body was made of thunder force, it looked just like a living creature other than the fact that it shone brightly. On its back was a large lightning image that emitted a terrifying pressure. It now charged at Long Chen again, its speed shocking. It reached him in practically the blink of an eye. Two star battle armor. Two stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and a powerful will soared out of him that made the sky shiver. Not only did he summon the two star battle armor, but he also extracted the life energy from the trees in the primal chaos space, instantly healing his injuries. Die. Long Chen's row rang out like thunder, and countless spear images shot out from his spear to kill that lightning monster. Boom. But when his spear landed on the monster's claw, Long Chen was blown back, his arms turning numb. He couldn't help being horrified. This lightning monster was too terrifying. However, Long Chen's strength was also terrifying. That lightning beast was also blown back hundreds of meters. That made Long Chen thank his luck inside. If it weren't for the lightning serpent possessing its own spirit and going out to devour the lightning runes for him, strengthening his lightning spear, then perhaps this one attack from the lightning monster would have broken his spear. This lightning monster had to be dealt with using thunder force. If he switched to a saber-like blood drinker, he would definitely suffer. Furthermore, the lightning tribulation possessed a destructive aura that would very likely damage Blood Drinker's spirituality. This was just how abnormal Heavenly Tribulation was. There were few things that could be used to resist it. The lightning monster didn't seem injured at all, and it quickly charged back. Long Chen blocked its claws with his lightning spear, but then he suddenly felt a chill run through him, and without hesitation, he used the Netherworld Ghost steps to dodge. Boom. A long tail pierced through the ground causing the entire land to tremble. Dark red lava exploded out from underground. The entire world was dyed red by its light. Long Chen was shocked. Just how powerful was that attack for it to even pierce all the way to the underground magma layer? The lightning monster ignored the lava and continued charging at Long Chen. He could only use his spear to resist as best as he could. But his heart turned cold as he realized that this lightning monster was too terrifying. Its thunder force practically came in an unending stream. If this continued. There was no way he could exhaust it before his own thunder force ran out. Wait, I really am stupid. Long Chen suddenly cursed himself. Taking a step, he charged at the lightning beast from the side. Chapter 540 Devouring the Lightning Rune Translator Born to be Long Chen and the lightning monster had fought for several hours. Occasionally, it would use its tail to attack. That attack was too terrifying, and if he was struck by it, he would definitely die. But the good thing was that the lightning monster's body was too large, and each time it attacked with its tail, its body had to lean forward. Once he noticed that rule, he could prepare himself in advance to dodge. But even so, the monster's thunder force was too terrifying, and Long Chen's thunder force was being exhausted too quickly. If this continued, he would definitely die. But then Long Chen thought of a certain possibility and cursed himself for being stupid. What was the point of facing the lightning monster head on like this? Activating the Netherworld Ghost Steps, he attacked it from the side. The lightning monster was huge like a small mountain and incomparably terrifying when attacking head-on. However, because of its size, it had difficulty with turning its own body and was actually sent spinning away by Long Chen's attack. Long Chen then jumped directly onto its back. The lightning monster actually instinctively stabbed its tail at him. Just as the tail was about to strike Long Chen, he disappeared and the tail pierced into the lightning rune mark that was on its back. The lightning rune exploded, and along with it, the rest of the monster also dissipated. After the death of the lightning monster, lightning runes filled the air. The lightning serpent tattoo on Long Chen's arm lit up, and it once more flew out to devour the runes. These runes were the purest essence of the lightning monster. As the lightning serpent devoured those small runes, it rapidly grew, doubling in size in just a moment. Unfortunately, 
There were too many lightning runes, and they already began to fade back into heaven and earth. The lightning serpent suddenly opened its mouth and bit down on one immense lightning rune. That lightning rune was larger than any of the others. It was over 30 meters long, and it emitted a powerful pressure. It was just about to dissipate when it was bitten by the lightning serpent, and it refused to let go. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. Wasn't that the rune that had been on the lightning monster's back? Didn't it just explode? How did it appear again Novaloon.com I'll help. Long Chen knew the lightning serpent wanted to devour this powerful rune, but it didn't have that ability on its own. So Long Chen poured his spiritual key into the lightning serpent. The lightning serpent rapidly shrunk and then returned to the tattoo on his arm. After it returned, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, and he vomited a mouthful of blood. After that mouthful of blood, he vomited another mouthful. A berserk energy was charging around his body, almost causing his body to explode. That was naturally done by the lightning rune. It wanted to escape his body to merge back into heaven and earth. But the lightning serpent had stubbornly locked it within his body. As a result, Long Chen's body was a cage that was being struck over and over by it. Be still. Long Chen roared furiously, and his two stars poured spiritual key into him, suppressing the thunder force. However, Long Chen was shocked to see that the lightning rune was too strong, and it seemed he was unable to keep it suppressed inside him. Even though the lightning serpent was doing its best to suppress it, it was still going out of control. This battle was wreaking havoc inside his body, and his body might explode at any moment. Fuck, how is it this berserk? Long Chen couldn't help but curse. He couldn't continue like this. He was just about to give up and let this damnable thunder force scram when the primal chaos space suddenly shook. A terrifying pressure descended, and the lightning rune instantly became still as if it had become an imbecile. It was as if it had lost any of its will. Seeing that, Long Chen was absolutely delighted and poured in his spiritual key to work with the lightning serpent. They tried to seal the lightning rune within the tattoo on his left arm. The rune actually didn't resist at all and allowed the lightning serpent to devour it. It had simply turned into food. Two hours later, it was completely devoured by the lightning serpent. After doing that, the lightning serpent tattoo became dim, as it descended into slumber. Long Chen thought about it and quickly realized that the lightning serpent had consumed too much thunder force and needed some time to digest it. He would be unable to use it temporarily. However, he was filled with anticipation towards the lightning serpent. Just what kind of existence would it become after it fully absorbed this thunder force? Whether it was the lightning serpent or the earth flame, they both needed to be slowly raised by him. He felt a trust for them that came from his innermost being. Although Thunder Force and Earth Flames were famed for being the most berserk things in this world, and thus the hardest things to control, Long Chen trusted his intuition. He trusted that whether it was the Lightning Serpent or the Earth Flame, no matter what level they grew to, they would never betray him. Then turning his attention to the Primal Chaos Bead, he was lost in thought again. Just what was the origin of this Primal Chaos Bead? Whether it was the Earth Flame or the Lightning Rune, they had all been suppressed by it. Furthermore, it had seemed to be exceedingly easy. The only regretful thing was other than the fact that it could grow plants quickly. He had no idea how to use its abilities. Whether it was suppressing the earth flame or the lightning rune, it had all been done by the primal chaos bead on its own. The primal chaos bead was definitely hiding many secrets. However, he had no idea what they were. He would have to investigate them slowly over time. Just as he was about to sit, Long Chen suddenly felt intense pain coming from every part of his body. Looking inside himself, he couldn't help but grumble. The lightning rune had almost completely destroyed his body. These injuries were too severe. During the fight against the lightning rune just now, he had been constantly suffering injuries. Thus, he had long since used up all the life energy in the trees. With no other choice, he consumed a healing pill. Although healing pills had very little effect on him, it was better than nothing. He summoned Little Snow and had him carry him away from here. Little Snow was his only support right now. Little Snow brought him rushing through this grassland. Long Chen no longer knew which direction he was going or where he was. He just let Little Snow run as he pleased. In any case, his goal was to leave the area of tribulation as fast as possible. He didn't want anyone to know that he was the one who had undergone tribulation, as that might bring on endless trouble. Little Snow traveled for half a day when a small lake appeared in front of him. The water was incredibly clear, and the sound of birds singing made the scenery extremely pleasing. Furthermore, those birds didn't feel any fear once Long Chen and Little Snow arrived. They didn't fly away and simply watched from a distance. 
It seems this is a peaceful land without any fierce beasts. Otherwise, these birds wouldn't be this daring. Long Chen had little snow rest here while he focused on circulating the primal chaos space to recover the life energy. Injuries from heavenly tribulation were different from other injuries. If his injuries were done by another person, he wouldn't even need to bother doing this, and his body would just recover naturally. However, injuries from the heavenly deos were something he had to use the purest life energy to heal. If he didn't have this primal chaos space, he really might have been doomed. Oh? The primal chaos space actually got bigger. Long Chen suddenly noticed that the primal chaos space had grown to 300 miles at some unknown time. This discovery startled and delighted him. Ignoring his injuries, he began planting seeds of those huge trees everywhere. Following the circulation of the primal chaos space, small saplings began to grow out of the ground. Long Chen had planted over a thousand trees in one go. Once those trees matured, he would practically have an undying body. However, he now saw that the trees were growing slower and slower. In two hours, those saplings only grew to a height of three meters. This speed was many times slower than before. Maybe I was a bit too greedy. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Maybe it really had been too much to immediately plant a thousand trees. However, these large trees were his greatest assurance, and he had to completely mature them. That's right. It seems corpses can also make them grow faster. Long Chen suddenly recalled his experiment with Luo Bing's corpse. When he had thrown it into the black soil of the primal chaos space, her corpse had been devoured, and a powerful life energy had nourished the medicinal ingredients here. But I don't have any corpses on hand. Would magical beast cores work as well? Long Chen took out a crystal core from a spatial ring. He had dozens of these cores in his spatial ring, the majority of which were from third or fourth rank magical beasts. He only had a few fifth rank crystal cores. His spirit entered the primal chaos space. He saw that the black soil had also grown to the size of a mile with the growth of the space. Throwing a crystal core inside it, he was startled to find that the core also dissolved. In just a few breaths time, the small saplings grew slightly larger. It really is effective. Although it wasn't very obvious, it was definitely at least slightly effective. He hastily brought over all the spatial rings in the primal chaos space. Within the Jiuli secret realm, he had harvested plenty of battle spoils and he had over a hundred spatial rings. He took out all the crystal cores in those spatial rings. However, he was slightly disappointed that those crystal cores were too low in quality. He ended up throwing in over 10,000 crystal cores, but those saplings only grew less than 10 meters. Such saplings weren't able to give him much life energy, but at the very least, those large trees had also recovered some of their vitality. Long Chen carefully extracted a portion of their life energy to nourish his body. To subdue that final lightning rune, he had suffered incredibly heavy injuries. He would need a while to heal. That's right. After passing the tribulation, another piece of information appeared in my head. 